Welcome, retired filmmaker George Lucas. Did we were we still bidding on on this? At some point? I believe it was. Didn't someone win that? No, we didn't finish it. We didn't finish it. JP Glick, yeah, JP, JP for ninety eight dollars. I've been stressing out that we never like officially tied. We're that. calling. It. Wait, no, call wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, but George, George, they already donated. They already donated. Okay, never mind. Patrick, wow, Patrick you I, up. I'm glad you're not in charge of seven. Hey, Patrick, let, when I start talking, I have a real zinger that's a real New York City zinger like that. I have, hey, Patrick, I have something. I have something. Patrick, I, Patrick, boy, I'm glad you're not running Sotheby's. Patrick, this is the thing we were talking about earlier. When George or I make it very clear we're about to do a thing, and your response is, but hold on, let me do something else. Yeah. That's why they. That's why Gummo Marx was never in a movie. I, I have something that. to auction off. Should we do it for this week, or should we hold it for the next month? What is the thing connected to? It's not connected to this show. It's not connected to the show today, but it's connected to the show at large. Hang the on. George I'm Lucas gonna... culture. Oh, yeah, hang on. I'm going to put it in the private chat. Yeah. Uh, Um, you tell me. You tell me what you think. I feel like <coughs> we are late in a show. Yeah. Okay. And I'll I hold on think, in terms of auctioning off items or things like that, it's like a lot of the big money donors have already made their big money donors. Yes. yes. But also, Patrick, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a tough love right now. Yeah. Make it real tough, George. Real tough. All right. Yeah. Uh, first. Uh, take your hand like this. Move it over to your face like this. Give a little this pinch. A is this a Terry thing? No, nope, it's a Georgie thing. Give a little pinch. I go this. Bad Patrick. Bad Patrick. <coughs> yeah. All right. Can I also say, I just feel like the thing you're suggesting you want to auction off would go well with the box of 20 things I might have to auction yeah. off at the next marriage. Yeah. I agree. I think that's be, all I'll be, say about that. I think it'll be a there'll be a vibe going when we start doing that. Yeah. Uh, let me say it's this, all Patrick. about a vibe, Patrick. It's all about getting a vibe. I'm happy someone's gonna get this for a mere $95. 98. 98. Great. Three more bucks. I'm sure that'll buy a lot of jet fuel for the for the people on there. It will. it will. Yeah. Yeah, well, jet fuel can't mount field beams, Patrick. So what good is field, it? Field beams, Wado? Jet fuel can't melt steel beams. We, are, I've been on air for fucking thirteen hours. <laughs> I'm um, very aware. Now, but here's the thing: I was saying we should keep the auction going for a long time, and you said no, no, we should end the auction really quickly because everyone knows the the way for an auction to raise a lot of money is if they go super fast and end as quickly as yeah. possible. No, but it's also a way to encourage people to donate because obviously we forgot about it for five hours. I, didn't <laughs> I was going to say. 
I was going to say, George, it, what, what Patrick is doing is actually very tricky and interesting. He says, let's make the auction really, really, really fast. And let's grind it to a halt and be silent for hours. And then go, never mind, so far. It's both. It's both. It's, it almost feels like a George Lucas film where you're going, yeah. really fast. Slow. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. But, but the same Indeed. thing where you keep trying to give away free stuff that would be good stretch goals. Uh -huh. Oh, wait. Like, we, have show, we have to show a video from a friend. We did yeah, this all That was like we, a we long time ago. Yep, but we never did it because we've had I started feeling like I had lost my mind when I saw the stretch goal sheet last time and saw that was that was back at like 5,000. I'm like, <laughs> I don't remember a video. Uh, we have a video from a friend. Um, I want to get the his his character name correct. I don't know um, what this even is. Yeah, you don't. We uh, we have a friend who couldn't make it today. He really wanted to, and he felt bad that he couldn't. Uh, he played a Russian soldier in Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, and he also Great played movie. Boris Bosliev in Air Force One. Here's a video from Mr. Andrew Devoff. Hey, uh, hey guys, how are you? This is uh, Andrew Devoff. I'd like to uh, give a shout out to the uh, George Lucas Talk Show. Say hi to everybody there, Waddle. Wow. Um, listen, I'm uh, I'm just following up. This show is uh, is in support of a Wings of Hope charity. Uh, provides medical care uh, for people who need to get transported uh, from possibly very uh, remote places. Uh, I understand that uh, that Mr. Harrison Ford is on uh, is on the uh, an honorary member of the board. Um, right. And I just wanted to share with you some reminiscences I I have about uh, just a, an absolutely great down to earth human being. Uh, Go ahead. From from the first moment that I met him, uh, just a, a, a total grounded human. Um, I do recall on uh, on Air Force One, um, I was coming onto set onto the uh, onto the airplane set, and and I remember that uh, that, that there were some uh, there was a group of of extras. Now I started out as an extra, so it was kind of cool. They uh, and they and they asked me. They said, "Hey, uh, you know, can you give us any tips, any clues about you know how to how to further our careers?" And I said, "I'll tell you what." At that very moment, um, Mr. Ford and I called him that to his face, and he said, "Nobody calls me Mr. Ford. My dad's Mr. Ford. Call me Harrison." So I called him Harrison. He great, great guy. So as he was coming onto the set, I told I told the kids, I said, "You know what? When this gentleman comes on set, make sure you're eagle eyeing everything he does." Uh, from from knowing everybody's name uh, on the crew <laughs> to uh, to just the way he uh, he treats everybody and the absolute respect he has for the uh, uh, directing crew and the, uh, the cinematographer's crew Abs absolutely I mean I, I I can't say enough good things about him I remember that on on Air Force One uh, I was waiting to work for about I think it was about four months I'll explain there was a clip in there he embedded a clip can't show the clip obviously. Uh, that was your work, Patrick. That was some shoddy editing. So we're watching the Codner cut right now. Yeah, really. Yeah, this is the Codner cut. <laughs> this is All right. Cut. <laughs> Press play. Before I got to uh, actually do Ooh. a scene with him, and really, we did our scene, and and that was cool. That went really well. But what I was looking forward to, and and I kind of have an inkling. I kind of have a feeling. Uh, Harrison was looking forward to the same thing. Was the fight? Uh, uh, I played uh, Boris Bazilev. And uh, and we got to have a, a kick ass, all out drag out. I mean, it, it was it was uh, it was it was really really hairy. It was so cool. And as you know, um, you know, you do your master shot. You come in medium, and then you come in close over a shoulder. And when uh, when we were doing my side of the fight, uh, I so so the, the the camera came in over his shoulder. Now usually uh, an A star like that would say, "I'm I'm out of here. I'm I'm going to go have a beer or lunch or whatever." Um, but Harrison stuck around and he was off camera and he, he was sure he said, that's it, Andy, throw the right now. Now look like I just punched you. And, you know, oh man. And, and I, and I just, I was so really flabbergasted by, by his, um, just his willingness to be so, so gracious and, and so giving of, of, of himself and his time. Um, and then, you know, after that, I, 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 of course, uh, uh I worked with him again on, uh, Indiana Jones, uh, uh, the Crystal Skull, and I remember, um, I remember it was his birthday, July sixteenth, and I remember that everybody on the crew got cake that day, and again, uh, he was he was great with the crew. Everybody, you know, 
he was just just a, an absolutely generous human and um and it, it and it was it was so cool being being i did i did the the hawaii the stuff that we shot in the jungle uh it was, it was shot in hawaii and uh it was just again it was just wonderful being with him when i when i did my first scenes with him i remember that uh and, and that was starting the movie in that big warehouse in new mexico um i came on set and and uh, i was approaching him and he looked up and he said he said hey andy and and he said have you met have you met steven and he he introduced oh, us yeah. and, and and of course everybody was very busy so it was kind of quick but i thought how cool was that and then the 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 other reminiscence that i have that was so cool uh, about him was i i went to i believe it was 2012 uh the premiere of k19 a friend of mine wonderful actor ravi Bisciano, uh worked uh, worked on that film and so invited me to the premiere and uh now i hadn't seen mr ford uh, since uh, on that. well, since we were shooting in '97, uh, film came out uh, '98. So, as I was approaching, it was a big crowd around him, and I was approaching just to say hello and and uh, and uh, congrats. Uh, myself having having done a lot of Russian work, I I was uh, I was I was impressed with with his work. And as I was approaching, he looked up and said, "Hey, Andy," and I and and I, I got to tell you, man. I mean, I mean. Harrison Ford remembering my name just just made my day made my evening so um you know I just just wanted to to share those little tidbits with you and uh, and again uh, I'm going to be sending in uh, my own donation to Wings of Hope and uh I really thank you all at the uh, George Lucas talk show for uh you know inviting me in I'm sorry I can't be with you in person I'm actually uh I'm 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 at a a convention uh, this weekend, and uh, and I didn't want to be rude to you and and be sort of splitting my time between the fans and uh, and and the fans uh, uh, out there. So uh, again, thank you very much. Uh, cheers! Uh, if you get a chance, uh, check out my uh, check out my uh, my beer endeavor. I'm uh, I'm opening a little brewery, Three Marm Brewery. Uh, I guess if you Google my name, it it probably is linked to it. Uh, check it out. I make some damn good beer. If you get a chance, come on out here. Come see us in Crestline, California, up in the San Bernardino Mountains. All right. Stay well. Be good. Stay well. Thank you. Stay well, Stay well Andy. What a guy. What a good guy. Right. Um, Patrick, I have to ask, because now that we know what we were just watching was the Cotner edit, <laughs> the Cotner cut. Yeah. The over-the-shoulder weekend update style graphics. Did you add those or did he? He did. So he clearly had intent as an yeah. editor. He was not wantonly just sending you raw footage. He took a pass on it. And then you felt the need to take your own pass and edit his passion yes, project. But it was only the because... ultimate passion project of video for the George Lucas film. I know, but it was only because it would have got pulled if it was up here. It would have been a whole thing, and I didn't yeah. want it. Yeah, well, guess what? You would have gotten pulled if you were up I'll say here. this. That's all I'm going to say. I'll say this. If you're watching... Uh, no, I can't. I, I was going to say, maybe I'd re... Maybe I'll upload the video as its own thing on YouTube if you guys really want to watch it. What was uh, the clip? What was, what was the clip? It was one of his fights from Air Force One. Right. I'm just I'm just saying maybe people want to tweet for at least the Devolf cut. I... Yeah. I I understand why you had to do what you do yeah. did Patrick, but uh, there there's someone here who's very upset that what you did to Andy. Who is it? Oh no, it's Sheriff Woody. Sheriff oh, Woody. No. Oh he no. He couldn't believe that you treated Andy that way. Andy's very important to him. I know. I got Ford. I got someone here who's very upset about the way you treated Andy. Oh, I hope it's not Forky. It's Andy. it's Andy. It's Andy himself. <laughs> George Watto. I know you guys feel like you're like relaxed and everything. Yeah, feeling wide, baby. Wide Watto. Hashtag wide Watto. Guess what? What? I got another guest. What? I got another, another guest. guest on this show? Yeah, on this show. On this show. Now. I don't know if this our next guest uh, has a character name, but I'm gonna come up with one. I'm gonna come wow. up with one. Wow, well, you're really you're really putting final cut on everything now, aren't you, Patrick? Well, I'm gonna this this the character that he he played when he worked with Harrison. 
if he has something, put it in the private chat if he wants to call it. You know, I'll let him name it because he's also the writer of the thing that he was in with Harrison. So if he wants to name his guy, this is it. This is the canonical name for the character. And he's thinking. He's thinking. I see. Finger to the temple. He's going like this. Uh, he's, th he's thinking. He's doing the okay. universal gesture. Okay. 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 The, char <laughs> the character's name was Audience Jedi. And the actor's name... No, and the project's name was Jimmy Kimmel Live. And the actor's name was Jeff Loveness. Jeff Loveness, welcome. Hey! George, George, this is a big deal. Watto, I mean, I mean, I, I can't say I'm a fan of your views on slavery. Not, not my favorite, but I mean, honestly, I respect you a lot. And, and like, Thank honestly, you. really, really Thank nice you. to meet. Not just and you have views, to separate the. Yes, right. In the actions, yeah. their actions, and the Absolutely. actions speak much louder than the words. <laughs> they, they, but, yeah, but look, some of them. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to overlook. I just had to get out in front of that at the time. No, of course, there. of course. But you got, you got bad to separate. Being on the show. It looks bad yeah. for me to no. be, appear with you totally. on camera. Yeah. Totally, yeah. no. Uh, yeah. You separate. You got to separate the art from the artist. And yeah, you got to it's, it's separate the children, enslaving yeah. children is your art. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, no, but okay. well, well, no, it's like, you know, uh, you got to separate the Toydarian from the slaves. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Right. I will yeah. say it is also fascinating how few people actually have that thought where it's like, this will make me look bad if I'm on the show with Watto. Yeah, yeah. Has yeah. no one brought that up? I was actually nervous about it. I thought you so you want to hear something in all honesty? <laughs> Watto brings it up in the normal shows right before we go live. Watto goes to the guest. Just want you to know. I am canonically a slave owner. It is yeah. the one, one of the only clear disclaimers we give guests <laughs> at the beginning of every episode. I missed the pre-interview. I missed the pre. Yeah. 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 And then I showed them the, I showed them this, the cup. The Taco Bell mm -hmm. cup. Right. Hang on, I, think, I, think, yeah. I think it has a distinction of being the only Taco Bell uh, commemorative <laughs> cup to even mention slavery yeah. in any way. Yeah. Yeah. When and we do these offhand reference and his two yeah. slaves. Yeah. When, when we do these marathons, Jeff, we have so many people booked that we don't have time to like do that. Yeah, but we do don't pre-interview with the, the guidelines we give people are very general, but one of the last things we tell them right before they go through the door <laughs> it's is literally by, it's yeah. like the it's like the oh and by the way, watch your step, you're about to go off a cliff. Like exactly. it's, like one it's of very those. much yes, this yeah. is true. We've never pulled this curtain back before, but this is the last thing we tell people before they show their life. Well, yeah. and I still agreed to be on the show. <laughs> that wasn't enough of a deal breaker. Yeah, uh, well, guys, if you, go back, if, you go, if you go back and watch old episodes, uh, there's normally like five to ten minutes of banter, but no, the first time you see the guests, that's, well, that was the last thing they heard before. That we was the last time we spoke to them. Point, halfway through, they say, shit. So they've had uh, to yeah. just sit in their homes and think mm -hmm. about it. Yeah. That's why we do the banter. We're trying yeah. to give them some time to like, whoa, wait a second, and then yeah. feel camera ready again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so Jeff, yeah. let's talk about these because you know, yeah. I want it. It's two, correct? Oh, three, actually three. Three, three. three. trilogy. I, I, I George, three. not to like, I yeah, I, I wrote these before the Disney trilogy comes out. So in a way, yeah. George, this is like the summation of your work. There's like a hidden trilogy of sketches yeah. with Harrison Ford yeah. in uh, yeah. late night TV. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you wrote three sketches for Jimmy Kimmel Live with Harrison Ford, Chewbacca shows up. They're very funny sketches. They're really <laughs> good. Go check them out. Um, it's, it's fun seeing him do Star Wars comedy because I feel like it's not something you see that often from him. Yeah, yeah. And it was um, before, I don't know. Had they announced it? I don't think the first one I, had been announced. They, they had it. Or it then like the second. It was 2013, because I rewatched them uh, earlier. Right. 2013, Jimmy's like, you know, they're making these movies. What can you tell us? And he's basically like, I'm not going to tell you anything. So I don't right. know if it had been announced as being in them or what the deal was. Yeah, yeah. I, I, like the first one, I, there was one in 2011. It was like my, am I? I, I don't know if I'm supposed to be in character, not as audience nerd. <laughs> no, you are no, as you know, the real. Hey, yeah, the real. I, I, I do, Jeff, yeah. This is not a show for characters. Okay, yeah. this is everyone yeah. is real on this show. Yeah. But also, yeah. let's say, let's say Drop this. Mask. Maybe we'll talk to audience nerd in a little bit. Maybe yeah. oh, if he's man. around, he's maybe we'll drop into that. 
<laughs> no, I um, it was my very first sketch, and like late night writing, you're in those like pretty, you know, pretty competitive cycles. And I was, I literally got a job because I made like a little like Wes Anderson, a Wes Anderson Spider Man parody on YouTube, and then I got yeah. a just insanely lucky, like a child, and I was so nervous all the time, was absolutely gonna get fired. And then I randomly pitched a sketch about like why does Harrison Ford hate Star Wars so much? Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, oh, it's because Chewbacca fucked his wife. Like in the canonically, I don't like. There was some like, he just had a falling out with Chewbacca because Chewbacca fucked his wife, and that's where it came from. Man, he knows yeah. what he did. He knows what he did. It? Mala. But like, it saved my job. Like, I was able to like stay there because I just had. Hair, but he just nailed it, and like yeah. that was my first time, like seeing an actor, and it was Harrison Ford. <laughs> like, yeah. The, uh, like he like and he was like he's he's an older guy so you walk yeah. in and you at first you're like oh that's so weird like you know you see this old man in the corner as soon as that camera goes on he just turns into Harrison Ford and it was the coolest that I've ever seen. That's but cool. then yeah we had to do a couple of them and he was awesome. Now you're writing for, you're you're right it's an interesting hybrid that you're attempting because you're mm -hmm. writing you're not writing Han Solo you're writing for Harrison Ford now this is a yeah. character that. We haven't seen a lot in in uh, any kind of fictionalized scenario. We've seen him in nonfiction. You'll see him at a, a an event or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, AFI. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but uh, he does he does make a brief appearance at the end of the of the Barry Levinson film Jimmy Hollywood, which stars Joe Pesci. Harrison Ford has an uncredited cameo as himself. Yeah. Uh, had you seen? Did you watch that movie before? Have no, George Evans. No, I've never seen it. What does he do, or what does he say? I mean, he's just, I don't want to spoil, I'm not going to spoil the end. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I'm you, I'm not going to walk. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Joe. I, yeah. I'm, I did not come here to spoil Jimmy Hollywood in 2021 for the people who haven't seen it yet. Least of all you, Jeff. Do uh -huh. the work. Do the work. Yeah, do the work. Hollywood. This is a character yeah, you've written. This is basically a character that you've written for. It's fine that you didn't see it because right. yeah. you had your own fresh attempt. But some it's people would have immersed themselves in. It is it is technically a prequel to your trilogy of sketches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's an Access Hollywood appearance he did in like 2010. That's sure. a yeah. 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 But those, those are all in the nonfiction realm. Jimmy Hollywood is very much and 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 the news you know, when he crashed his airplane. That's also yeah. like a uh, an after like that's a sequel to but it. I think that's legends. I think yeah. technically that's not canon. That's legend. Right. Yeah. Right. Expected yeah. universe, but yeah. late night is sort of it's a mixture of of reality and artifice. Because when you play when you play audience Jedi, that's a role, but you're you're embedded Borat style with uh, reality. <laughs> you're playing a character, and you're setting this fiction in the real world. Yeah, yeah. I've actually George, like you know, I actually I, I actually loved that about late night TV. Like you you exist in this almost like Kabuki theater, like this weird middle ground of like. You just get to be an audience member and stand up and scream that you accept a new premise, or like, and everyone just kind of accepts it. Like they know it's a little game, and everyone looks and like they're suddenly on TV and they're playing an audience member. Like, and it's not even like a oh, here goes this guy. It's like oh yeah, look at this guy. He's yeah. doing what we all want to do. We've just assumed it's like Conan in the nineties. Like we, it yeah. just like got downloaded into our brain. Like oh yeah, a loud guy should stand up and say something. <laughs> yeah, and it's always, a guy. it's always a guy. Let's make that clear. Nice. It has always. to be a man. Yeah. Yeah. Always. Uh, Jeff, I, I uh, remember seeing one of those sketches, uh, one of the three, when it aired at the time. Mm -hmm. and, oh, wow. and there's one small detail in it that has stuck in my craw ever since. It was the one that when um, Cowboys and Aliens was coming. Yeah, yeah, that was the right? first one. Right, and Chewbacca comes backstage mm -hmm. and uh, Ford kind of tells him off, but also says like, I don't need you anymore. I have yeah. a new co-star now, right? Yeah. And the thing that I think about constantly, constantly, I'm not just saying this because you're here. I, it rings in my head. Is Harrison Ford in that sketch calls him Daniel Craig. <laughs> and he pronounces Daniel Craig in a way unlike I've ever heard anyone else say the guy's he, name. He hits the AI. Yeah, like Craig. Craig. Yeah. Daniel Craig. A Spielberg Kubrick joke? Saying I don't, AI? Julia, I work with Daniel Craig now. It, <laughs> it felt like he really hit the AI. Yeah, yeah we were really trying to get the Cowboys Craig. and Aliens publicity out there. <laughs> right, yeah. but I, 
I think about this. I, and that was, he was on the show right after the weekend where Cowboys and Aliens had opened. So it was supposed to be, to be like a victory lap booking. And yes. in the interview, he was brings up. off the premiere of Cowboys. Wow. Right. Hang on, guys. But we, are having, up. What? Wado, we are having huge discrepancies in the chat right now. What? That's how what? English speakers pronounce it. Well, this is you my question. Have... I'm going Wado, to circle yeah. back to this in one second. I'm going to circle back to this in one second, okay? Okay. Damn. Like, yeah, yeah. The, the, wow. English oh, but, then, but then Big Squiggles is saying, well, he's fucking American. I want to talk about one second. No, Watto, go. Watto's cool it, man. Watto, you got it. Watto, come on, man. One, I remember pointedly that the interview was the week after Cowboys and Aliens came out because Kimmel made a joke about the fact that the Smurfs was number one at the box office <laughs> and Harrison Ford had been beaten by the Smurfs. And he did not seem very amused. <laughs> now, now bring me back to the group screen. This is the point. Harrison Ford says that, right? And I go, is he saying it right? Is this one of those like Buscemi, Buscemi things? Mm -hmm. Where all of us are, have accepted an incorrect pronunciation of a giant star's name. And yeah. he is the one guy showing the respect. And it has stuck in my head for the last 10 years. I mean, that's the power of comedy. You know, that's the power of performance. Uh, I, honestly, I was just happy to kind of provide that for you, and it is, you know, tangentially through the word. But I mean, Harrison, of course, made it come alive. George, I'm sure you can speak to this. Like, he just makes his own line his own. You know, like, yeah. if he sees, you know, if he doesn't want to do a fight scene, he just wants to shoot the guy. If he doesn't want to say the line, he says, I know. You know, that's yeah. what he does. Yeah. Actually, in the second sketch, the only note that he's given uh, <laughs> right. It was a, it was a live sketch and right before he didn't have time to rehearse. And like, he had this assistant run over to me and there was a hand drawn note or a hand, like he scratched it. The original line was something like you Wookiee piece of shit and just <laughs> the faintest pencil mark. And above it, he wrote Wookiee sack of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That is, that's, he knows. Yeah. <laughs> he knows. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's no. those are the, the small decisions that make a movie. Yeah, you know. Man. Did you did you keep that script? I feel like that's something I would keep forever. I think like or that was, was the good? second time we did it, so I was maybe broken by late night at that point, like two oh. years in. I was just a husk of a person. Oh. I think I lost it, and I yeah. and it was one of those thoughts. I'm like, why didn't I? I should have yeah. framed it somewhere. Yeah. But so done, funny. Done. I would it's in honestly, the Ultima somewhere. <laughs> if you ever find it, if you ever find it, please contact the Lucas Museum. <laughs> uh, of narrative art, which is, should be completed by the end of this year. Yeah. We'll hang, we will hang it up on the wall. Absolutely. No, George, I would love that. Yeah. Love you, you, know, well, you can have it back, but it's a donation to the music. You know how it works with art? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. of course. Patrick, show your painting. Did you show Jeff your painting? Oh, Jeff, this is a painting I commissioned uh, by my friend Elise Brandow to make. It's Harrison Ford in Regarding Henry. <laughs> um, it's him holding a, Ritz pa uh, a painting of a Ritz cracker box. God damn. Uh, but I mean, you know, specifically for today, just to that really gets like the the that's the power. That's but like that's a good Harrison Ford face. Yeah, yeah that's that great, great. great artist. Yeah. yeah, it's very fun. And then like we we finally, I think by the time the Force Awakens came out, we had to do mm -hmm. and like he was coming back on for that. And we got to do like the trilogy capper, and we got to have like this redemption arc with Chewbacca on the roof of the El Cap. Like yeah. Disney would have never let us. It was right before Disney just like clamped up on all. Like it couldn't really do much Star Wars. George, yeah, I'm mean, sure you know how this goes. Oh, uh, but like we got to have like Chewbacca was gonna jump off the roof of the El Capitan. <laughs> like we yeah. got to have like him. Like, and then Harrison Ford had to like walk him back, and like it. And that was almost near the end of my time there. So it, it really felt like a. Uh, you know, the end of saga. You know, George, we both kind of have added to the saga of it. And I'm, how did you feel at the end of, of Jedi? You know, I mean, look at this guy right here. Oh, look Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. There, he is. there he is. Yeah. I mean, being able to, to goof on Star Wars with their blessing, you know, uh, you got in right under the wire with that because I don't know if you're aware of, uh, are you aware of Star Wars detours? Oh. I've never, I, I know there's a little droid that like floats around and he gives you like a, or is that Star Tours? Well, that's Star Tours. That's oh, Star sorry. Wars. Oh, I don't know Detours, no. Oh. Okay. Strap in. Yeah. Yeah. Strap in. Yeah. 
Straight After up. George, yeah. you and I are going to come off. I'm going to let Watto just tell this. No, no, no. This is a group effort. The PS1, I know the Phantom Thread video game, or Phantom Thread video <laughs> game. <laughs> Ooh. A beautiful go game. Yeah. Go pick the mushrooms. Yeah. yeah. This is, this is, I think this is all hands on deck group effort mm -hmm. from the three of us. I just, yeah. Jeff, you write for it. Also, before you say it, Watto, before you say it, let's get some yeah. fan art illustrating the Phantom Thread video game. I think this is that. <laughs> yes. Atari, ColecoVision, 8 bit. PS1, like yes. block yeah. graphics, yeah. if you could. That'd be the best. And actually, if you could just make the game, that would be the best. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, Jeff, you've written Rick and Morty episodes, mm -hmm. which I bring up because, A, I think that this is an important frame of reference to view the terrifying tale we're about to tell you. And much like Rick and Morty, it might sound like, oh, this is like a whimsical sci-fi premise. Right, right. This is like an absurd what if things taken to an absurd heightened conclusion. But with a very unfortunate twist. So what is it? Oh yeah, so yeah, George. You, you've heard of uh, Robot Chicken. I have, yeah, 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 of course. And and uh, you've heard of Star Wars, George. Of course, that's why I'm here. Yeah. Well, Robot Chicken, the the fellows, the the, the fine people at Robot Chicken, they uh, they love to goof on Star Wars, and I love the goofs and jokes that they were making. So at one point, I was sort of cooperating with them, and I said, "Hey, hey, everybody, why don't we make this? Uh, why don't we make this official?" Let's make a let's make a Star Wars show that's just funny. Just funny. And just I'll really, it. really I'll, funny. And you know what? I'm not even gonna wait to see who's gonna buy this because I'm George Lucas and this is Star Wars and people love to laugh. So yeah. we will sell this. Like there's right. not gonna be You created this? You wrote it yourself, George? I didn't write it, I executive produced it. Okay. Uh, but, you were, but you were in the room, George. I he was, was in the room. I was oh, in the George in a room in a writer's room. This guy. Yeah. Writer's yeah. room. I'm like, yeah. what if we yeah. got yeah. we got Seth Hands Green, on. we got <laughs> Deb Wells, we got George Lucas, we got. George, all are you story? Did you come in at story editor? Or did they get you down on staff. Is that staff writer position or? I mean, I was EP, but I I was I was I was you know. He was there. He was. I'm like, he was, was hands on. Man. I, he was getting dirty. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I would make I would make jokes that would be. I, I, I believe Zeb at one point had described had said that a lot of my contributions were among the most juvenile, <laughs> uh, just in terms of like I wasn't afraid to go there. You know what I mean? It's it's a nice compliment about George's childlike spirit. I think Absolutely. that's how we interpreted it. Yeah. yeah. So, so I just pay for the show. We make the show, and we right. make we make. Upwards of 40 episodes, basically, of the show. Self-finance. George Self just liked the concept. He put a ring on it. Mm -hmm. He staffed the room. He yeah. hired the animators. Let's go ahead. Someone will buy this when it's 40 done. episodes. Yeah. And these are most of these shows have like eight episodes a season or 20. Yeah, maybe. Frazier has he, 20. It Frazier. was three 13-episode seasons produced. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, yes, it's three 13-episode seasons were produced all at once with an additional... 10, 20, 30 scripts ready to go for the second batch. George, yeah. too many. George. And, and, and the thing is, I, th I thought we'd pass the point where this would this needed proof that this was uh, marketable. You know, like it seems like this is this is like making pizza or something. Like we know there's an audience for pizza, you know? And uh, and you know, we got Billy D. Williams doing the voice of Lando Calrissian. We got Ahmed Best doing Jar Jar Banks. We got Weird Al. We got all kinds of funny people coming in. We make these shows. Then we reach a point where you know this is this is a runaway train we we release a trailer at comic-con we announced the show is going to happen and then i had a development in my life which is that the tax code was about to change i'm getting up there in years and i decide you know what if i don't sell star wars and lucasfilm if i don't if i don't sell all this stuff now i'm going to take a major hit on this mm. and i was looking to protect the franchise so at this point i sell everything kit and caboodle i sell it to disney and included in the mix are a number of things that maybe they weren't looking for that are just little bonuses I'm throwing them. Like, oh, you yeah. got to finish my uh, CGI animated uh, uh, jukebox musical, Strange Magic. And they did it. And they released it on the Touchstone label, uh, a defunct zombie uh, uh, label. Yeah. Touchstone. yeah. On the but I think they had there's, the no, there's no offices. Yeah. There's no staff. It doesn't exist. It's a, it's yeah. a, it's a, it is a phantom. And, uh, and, and But then this great bonus, which is, hey, 40 episodes plus many more scripts of a Star Wars detours comedy animated show. Perfect, perfect. 
And they took this show and they looked at the moment they were at, which is, and I totally understand this. Um, they were getting ready to relaunch Star Wars after a long absence from, from the culture at large. And yeah. they were going to start off with some pretty, you know, uh, Darth Vader getting murdered by his son and, uh, you know, all these like things that were serious. And maybe it wasn't the right moment to, you don't lead with the, you know, Mad Magazine spoof. You don't lead. You mean, wait, Vader. George, do you mean Han Solo getting murdered by his son? Yeah, what I say? You said Darth Vader. You know what I mean? Patrick, yeah. why get caught up on the fine details? Patrick, shame on you. I'm 76 years old, and I've been doing a show right now for, uh, is it 13 hours? Are we up to 13 hours? Yes. 12 hours? 13 and a half hours almost? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so laugh it up, fuzzball. Laugh it up. All right. Han Solo gets killed by his son. I think everybody knew what I meant, but feel free to make fun of a septuagenarian genius. Jeff. Yeah. They take this show. Mm-hmm. Now, now, who am I? Who am I to to judge? Now, if if, if Disney, of any on a grand slam, you're saying they're sitting on a grand slam. Well, think they're about not. It. What's what's Disney's mo with animation? What does Disney do with animation since the late 1920s? Put it in the vault. Is well, what they, they release it? They release it first. They oh, release yeah. it. Well, okay. I, 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 one of the two, yeah. Yes. <laughs> they they, they usually first, release animated right. content for yeah. They they usually put it. It's yeah. catch and release. You make it, you release it, then yeah. you pull it back. Mm -hmm. Disney starts out. Uh, they start out doing the move that normally comes later. They take it and they put it on a shelf mm -hmm. in the Disney vault. Along with their most embarrassing disgraces and some other things that have had plenty of laps around the, the culture. They get to come out, they come back in. Most yeah. of it's all on plus now. Right. Okay. You know, it's sitting there on the shelf next to the Lion King. And it's going, what's it like out there? And they go, I don't know. Let me, I'll take going around for another run. I'll tell you when I get back. And Detour has been sitting on that goddamn shelf for almost a decade now. Well, George, Jeff, I got there are questions. 39 completed, <laughs> picture-locked, fully animated episodes of a Star Wars cartoon show that George Lucas oversaw that could be released on Disney Plus with the push of a button in the middle of a pandemic and it's on a fucking shelf. Yeah. Well, George, I mean, what are you going to goddamn do about it? <laughs> I, what can I do? What I thought you, I, you're here this whole time saying what a champion of art you are, what a champion mm -hmm. of film you are. Well, mm -hmm. George, they got your baby. What are you going to do about it? Mm -hmm. Well, what? But that's the other thing. They got Baby Yoda. They got all my babies. <laughs> yeah, I can't yeah. just go in there and burn the whole place down. What's going to happen, to little baby Grogu? I don't know. I don't. I don't know, I don't know what to do. Harrison, George. No, no company. No company in the history of culture has ever done something like this <laughs> to as significant an artist. Yeah, George, <laughs> that brings up a great point. That it, it's a take on this that no one else has brought up. Which is that this is really embarrassing for you, George. Yes, it is. Jesus fucking Christ, that's the whole reason we tell this story. That's the whole reason we tell this story. Think about, name another filmmaker that has had 20 hours of completed material from a successful series. Tarkovsky had that stalker comedy yeah. web series that the Soviet Union just clamped. The day the I clown mean, cried, George. All no, that we're wrong. Talking 39 episodes. Jerry, if I was keeping this in the vault, that would be fine. Jerry yeah. saying, release it after I die. Yeah. I made 39 episodes of a Star Wars goof time show yeah. and, and and the, the studio that is known for the goof and his son, Max, yeah. <laughs> won't release a goofy show. They'll release they like movie. the goof so much they gave him a troop. <laughs> this is the home of goof troop. He's got a cult. He has a small got cult. The cult. And, and, they, and the thing is, I understood it. In 2015, I was not mad about this. I understood you are, <laughs> you have a, you are, this is all in due time. But about one month into the pandemic, when mm -hmm. they were telling people, you need to stay home. And I thought, you could be saving lives here. You must be to watch all the detours. That's another day that they're not out infecting somebody. Yeah, yeah. Or getting right. infected and spreading it on. And then I started looking at, I mean, Disney Plus has a lot of great things. A lot of great content. But you're telling me you're going to put Mr. Boogity and Bride of Boogity both on, on Disney Plus? But you're not going to release the final Star Wars series that George made? George, was it good? It was great. It's it was funny. funny. It, it made me laugh. 
Yes. Jeff, I'll say this. I'll say this, Jeff. Between you and me, mm-hmm. you know, you know. Oh, gosh, hang on. I want to make sure everyone in the chat just like put earmuffs on. Don't yeah. listen to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna wait for them all to z z z like they're asleep. Let's let's wait for this. Okay, but they're all going to go to sleep. Yeah. Okay, z z z. I'm seeing some muffs. Z z George just falls asleep at will. Like, he's, yeah. a genius. <laughs> he's, wow. he's getting up there, Jeff. Um, George may have snuck out with some. George. Maybe we'll yeah. pass. It. Maybe we'll pass them on to Jeff. Maybe Jeff can see some of these. Jeff, yeah, you George worked on Kimmel. Very... Yeah. You know how on Kimmel, if a guest comes on the show, you give them as a gift, like a mug or a hat or a shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you were in charge of that, right? Yeah, I gave, I gave them guns, uh, whatever, yeah. they, whatever they wanted. Uh-huh. Well, this is a virtual show, so we can't give people physical merch. But what we can do, what we offer to any guest on the show, is a private link <laughs> to a Google Drive folder with 10 episodes of Deports that we have access to. Look, Wado, this sounds like another one of your shitty yeah. deals that you've got. Yeah. Why don't you upload it, then, Wada? Why don't you put it up for the people to see? Yeah. Why don't you Disney Plus, put it up there with like the X Men cartoon and gargoyles, and just like you know, let it be in the marketplace. Yeah, 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 we do that, we might as well be made of cheese. Yeah, the mouse would come and take a bite out of our ass. The mouse, you know what, Jeff? Jeff, I know you can't say this publicly, so we're not even gonna deal with it, but maybe you'll see this Google Drive. You know, I mean, who knows? Who knows? Maybe you'll see the Google Drive. I don't know. Look, we don't want to get sued here, okay? It's not yeah, George's yeah. show anymore. He doesn't have the power to release it. We're pleading with them every week. Hashtag release the original 39. Right. You know, come on. Like, by, someone, please. Your Snyder cut, man. This is yeah. like, the Imagine. indignity. You have to think. Like, two months ago, Disney does their investor day. And they come out and they announce all these new exciting movies. They announce the, the next Ant-Man movie, which you've written. Oh, my God. So exciting. Everyone's well, thank you, so Wada. Nice. Oh, 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 Jeff. Honestly, man, that means a lot. Thank you, Wada. Right. You just incredible. Twitter. Oh, good for Jeff Loveness. One of the few guys, not only funny, but genuinely a good person. And you're going like, yeah, great, great. And then they go, here's huge news. We're going to do 10 Star Wars shows in the next five years. And you go, motherfucker. You could do 39 episodes of one Star Wars show in the next five minutes. <laughs> Wait, here's, here's what's, oh my God. Oh, look at that game. So, what's even more humiliating? Was the movie based on the game if it came out in 1981 on the Atari? Uh, yeah. It's like oh, Wing Commander. It's, yeah. <laughs> Got a few. A oh, virtual oh, boy. I had no idea he was a franchise. Everyone, everyone disagrees about which Phantom Thread game is best. <laughs> For me, it's 32X. 32X. Yeah. yeah, you could do the jumps, and it was like you know three dimensional. That's the uh, thing, though. It's it's <laughs> like the Disney Aladdin game, where they're actually <laughs> different games. Like they have their yeah. own subtlety. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Imagine, uh, imagine if Francis Ford Coppola had produced 39 episodes of a Godfather spoof animated yeah. TV show, and Paramount was just like. No, yeah, we keep them in the cupboard. Well, let me just say, Coppola would goddamn do something about it, George. You think you would take this? You think you would stay in his little vineyard, drinking I, sangre I, after sangre, I, or would he go down to Paramount, jug a kerosene, and say, "Put out"? Look, I love Francis, but he made Jack. That, who knows what that guy's ever going to do? <laughs> I'll say this: I Have think... you not seen his films? Have you? They're they're pretty good. Have you I, not seen? I, I, any I, films? Of course, I I did second okay. unit on Godfather. He was my mentor. I executive produced Tucker. But you need to watch the movie Jack. <laughs> you need to watch the movie Jack. That guy's a wild card. Can I just say I think Jeff is raising some good points. He's asking some good big questions. Yeah. I also think I need someone to make fan art of the Detour style Godfather universe <laughs> animated series. That's a bunch of funny little cartoon vignettes. Yeah. Maybe that's the approach. Movie. Maybe that's the approach. Just kidding. Maybe that's the approach. If we start sort of announcing other detours series, yeah. like yeah. in yeah. that file, Godfather detours, mm-hmm. like other things that that are fun, mm-hmm. popular franchises mm-hmm. having their own detours. So it's sort of an honor, you know. Red Tails, Bram oh. Stoker, Dracula. Yeah. yeah. Okay. the The Italian word for detour is deviazione. The Godfather 
Diviazon. It's like the Godfather, but very fun. But it, but it really, it does. The fact that they would announce ten new shows, and actually eleven, as it turns out, it actually turns out that they announced George, ten. Like there's also an eleven. George, are you in therapy, George? George, I mean, like, because look, you have so much. George, I mean, can we just? George, you have so much to be thankful for. George, I mean, you're a hero to so many people. People like the sequels now. It's a big deal. George, yeah. you're I, right. You I'm, were right. I'm, I'm suspicious. Of of history. A lot of people are liking the prequels. They're weaponizing them against another thing. They're sort of like... And it doesn't matter. Take the win. George, take the win. Take no, the I don't win, want George. win. George. A lot of the people who say they like the prequels now don't really like them. They just like to use them as a stick to beat another movie. Series. Look, man. I, I was playing Jedi Power Battles on PS1, and I saw Ooh. Jedi Knight game. Close. Yeah, he's got that little yellow lightsaber, man. Yeah, yellow lightsaber, and I thought, what is George going to goddamn think of next? And yeah. hit after hit. And so, George, all I'm saying is that, like, yeah, there's always an unfinished masterpiece. You know, there's always a stroke missing from the tableau. And I think yeah, George this is a finished. This is a finished masterpiece. <laughs> Fun. It's like if they found out that there were 39 more Mona Lisas in the Disney vault. I, I guess that would piss yeah. me off. Yeah. Well, remember at the end, at the end of Barton Fink, when the studio basically says to him, you're under contract. We own this brilliant script. You're, you're never going to make it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And then he just Sorry. goes and sits on the beach with a woman's head in a box. There's nothing he can do. And then a bird dies and falls into the ocean. Sorry. I spoiled. It's all right. I don't know why I was willing to spoil Barton Fink and not Jimmy Hollywood. George, I mean, I'm clearly all, you're upset. I'm all over the map tonight. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Would you ever, like, I mean, have you tried shopping it around town? Have you tried, I mean, you, like, can you... And smoking barrel. Yeah. Oh. On that shelf. <laughs> <laughs> that damn shelf. I you want to add those, not cut seeds, what do they call those? Like, when you have to hit the... Yeah. It's, I like it being a text adventure. I think that's yeah. fun. That's fun. Um, Jeff, I want to talk to Jedi Nerd. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I guess it's basically him. <laughs> I think it's time. What mm -hmm. have you been up to? Oh, uh, just standing in the audience void, waiting to just stand up and be loud about something. Yeah. I, I pissed my pants in one sketch. Uh, I'm basically the same person, just loud and shy. Sometimes I, I kissed the man who was Princess Leia one time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh but yeah, then I just, I go quiet and I just wait for the next uh, YouTube video that'll get 40,000 views and no one will watch it. will be on Huffington Post, maybe like a, your friend will tweet it, but yeah, it's mm -hmm. basically just a void. But it's been a while since you've come out of that void. Been about nine years. Yeah, yeah. It's been about nine years since that appearance. Yeah. Uh, okay. But honestly, working with Harrison was amazing. Uh, yeah. Did not speak to me, did not look at me, but I could feel, you know, uh, Honestly, just to share this, you know, the stage with him. And, and yeah. This is yeah. Jedi nerd that I'm talking to. Yeah, it's Jedi nerd. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's you can't tell that the nuanced <laughs> performance in it. <laughs> that was beautiful, though. I, I would I would work I would work with Harrison again uh, okay. if, it, if it presented itself. That's a good. That's a scoop. Yeah, <laughs> the Jedi nerd <laughs> would work with Harrison again. Yeah. Audience, <laughs> audience Jedi, uh, was this your first time coming to a TV taping? Um, as the audience Jedi, yes, that was my first appearance, but I would show up occasionally like for a Star Wars. The basic premise is that like, hey, this guy's a nerd. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and George, you love comedy. Like, so that's well, it's comedy. I'm speaking to yeah. audience Jedi right now. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, it's like, I don't know. I would say the lines and be like, audience Jedi stands up. Parentheses, he's full of shit, donkey dick, uh, you know, just no no posture whatsoever. Yeah, Fuck right. this guy. Yeah. And it's all on like the slug lines and stuff. Yeah. It was like it was a great it was, I, three lines and it was, you know, changing my life. Yeah. Right. What did you think of the rest of the show as an audience member? Or were you just preoccupied on the, Back moment? To the void? Back to the void. Yeah. As Back soon as you are done speaking, almost instantaneously, you have no memory, and then you just wake up the next time uh you need to uh, be made fun of on in public. <laughs> It's amazing to me that you weren't CGI, given yeah. given the 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 nature of your your existence. Yeah, they did replace me with a. He did a lot of flips. He did a lot of flips oh. uh, when Christopher Lee was on the show. It did not go well. Um, yeah, I haven't really been back. You know, uh, Star Wars hasn't really been in the. You know, they made three more movies, and I haven't really. Yeah. You know, 
you don't know if Star Wars fans are nerds anymore. You don't. Um, without, I mean, I kind of set that tone. Now, audience Jedi, I know you weren't here for this, and you probably won't understand it. Can we talk to Jeff again, really quick? Yeah, of course. Wait, wait a second. Yeah, uh, yeah. This is Jeff. <laughs> oh my god! Wow. That. That's a great one. That's, That's a great one. one. That's from Ish, our boy Ish. Ish creeps our really Ish. Like that, that on that. Is it sixteen bit? What is it, Game Boy? Is it eight? What? Eight. I think it's eight. Eight. Really right? pop, especially an original Game Boy. I feel like it's got to be. I don't know. Wada's looking it up. I can tell. I'm looking it uh, up. And this eight. won't, this eight. won't, make, this won't uh, necessarily, this won't speak to you. Uh, this will require some explanation. But one thing we learned today is that if that Game Boy with the Phantom Thread game were here now, and so was uh, uh, departed filmmaker Mike Nichols and living legend Harrison Ford, they yeah. would try to steal that Game Boy uh, and play yeah. that game uh, a lot. While on the set of Regarding Henry. That is. <laughs> Something that actually happened. They, you they, have to trust us when we say that. I didn't know that. Ed. I didn't know that IMDb fact. <laughs> yeah, well, the daughter we'll from regarding Henry today told us that. So, that's, yeah. um, Jeff, thank you for coming on. I know you have a deadline, and it was very nice of you to come on. And <laughs> happy to do it, guys. No, and, I mean, George, we will be sending you uh, the the deluxe link <laughs> to uh, maybe. Ten, 10 episodes of Star Wars Detours in various stages of completion. I will just try to splice it into the footage of Ant-Man 3 as soon as the oh. edit. Even if, <laughs> even if you could have a character being like, I just got these files, and then they just walk, yeah. and they just have them on in the background. Yeah, yeah, War Machine. He, yeah, he's like, hey, have you seen this? So yeah, how, so how great yeah, would it be if Ant-Man goes into the quantum realm, and then he's mm -hmm. like, is that Detour? Like, he's like, <laughs> It's one the of the camera just pans over and you're white. It's just, it is, it's that. It's I don't want to, listen, I don't want to get Marvel involved in this because then it's yeah. going to bring extra scrutiny on the show and yeah. I can't deal with that. Uh, Guys, uh, wonderful to meet you. Uh, George, honestly, uh, Watto, please rethink slavery. It, it's bad. I'm out. I'm oh. out, baby. I'm out. I do talk shows now. No, okay, game. fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Well, guys, wonderful to see you. Uh, uh, truly all. Thank you all. So much. Stay safe. Uh, right. we'll talk to you soon. And there you have it, folks. There you have it. The show. That's the show, folks. That's the show. Looks what? Like that's the show, folks. Who else could we book on this show? No one. That's it. We're all done. What do you I mean, it just feels like, look, this was a weird one because we weren't watching anything. And usually when we do these all day marathons, they're centered around the watch. So there's a clear plan. That, oh my God! Hey guys, Everyone thinks we're gonna about to wrap up, and I couldn't let it go by without stopping in. It's been a little bit. We're happy to see you. It's I'm happy to minute. see you as well. I'm happy to see you as well. I understand there was a bit of a, a focus today to today's show, and no. I resent a little bit not being invited and having yeah. to use my my emergency link that you sent me. That will all I can always come in, as you know. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. And, <laughs> I had the one emergency link, and I had to use it today because I have worked with Harrison Ford. What? This is nuts. This is nuts. What, what is it? Let's hear about it. I am glad that we've now established that Stephen Charleston is one of the few to possess the golden link. A That's new cool. piece of George Lucas talk show lore. That's the correct. golden link that allows you access to the show at any time. I and hope so. <laughs> As I understand it, only one person can have the link at a time, and I've now relinquished it because I had to use it. I had to come in today oh. because I wasn't invited. Right. Oh, <laughs> because I was going to say, that feels like something that would force Stephen Charleston to have to come on the show more often if he had I know, no, and I think this will do just fine, <laughs> uh, having used it this one time. Uh -huh. Yeah. What What did you do with Harry? What did you do with have, Harry? Hair. Have you Warm hair. <laughs> Have you heard of uh, a little something called Jello? Jello. Yeah. I just finished one <laughs> nine hours ago. Okay, this is what I'm talking. And uh, also, George, I appreciate that you and I are cut from the same clock. We leave the remnants of whatever food we had today to collect for at least the duration of that day. There you go. That's good. Um. So <laughs> good. <laughs> Good, I know you've been busy today. Oh, goodness, look at us. Just peas in a pod, the four of us. Uh-huh. 
inside this bag was a Cheeto in the shape of Watto that I ate. It was years old. It was the worst tasting thing I've ever had. He bought, oh. it, he bought it on eBay, Stephen. I bought yeah. the Cheeto for ten dollars because it looked <laughs> like me. It's in his body. It's in his body right now. Oh. His body is trying to figure out what to do with it. It won't be there for long. <laughs> no, I don't think so. George, you're it's perfect that you're having jello, because I didn't even mention this story has to do with jello. What? Yep. That's nuts. That's crazy. Do you, do you ever hear those contests where you'll send in uh, lids from things or, or a te to try and win something? It's like mm -hmm. a contest. I, the Jello, okay. It's sort give me one second. Hey, did, now I'll ask, have you heard of the movie Clear and Present Danger? Yeah. yeah. Obviously. Yeah. When, at, so when that when that movie was being made, this is you. You might not even believe this. Yeah. When that movie was being made in the original script, there was a scene where Harrison Ford was going to eat Jello. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So Jello was like, "We got it. We 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 got to get on this." Yeah. And they made a big contest, and win a walk on in clear and present danger. Come and be on the, the movie. Sure. And I, you know, I love to eat. And Jell-O's on the list. Oh, and so I was sending, just sent my mail, my mail carrier was like, Steve, hey, Steven, what's with all these things going to Jell-O? And I said, <laughs> they make me put each one in a different envelope. It's not my fault. So then, uh, lo and behold, <laughs> the clouds opened up, and God itself shone upon me. And I God himself, God itself, or it's, something happened. And I got a call, and they said, "No, uh, don't back. Down. Wait, don't back down. Don't back down. Don't back down. You saw the face of our Lord. You saw God. I had a, I had a moment when." The, I'll tell you what, when it happened was the phone call. Yeah. And they said, Stephen Charleston. I said, yeah, that's me. And I said, is this the Stephen Charleston that sent all the entries for the contest? Because if it is, we have good news. And I said, oh, my God. And it was that's the moment where I was like, oh. oh. And then they, they said, you win. <laughs> so I went and uh, I did a walk on on Clear and Present Danger. That's the short version. There's a longer mm -hmm. Tail to it. Anyway, in the scene with the Jello ended up getting cut. Oh, uh, from the movie, so I didn't get to be in the movie, but I saw oh. him, uh, Harrison. Do you remember what the scene was about? Uh, we're talking Jack Ryan. Yeah, good old Jack Ryan. Yeah, there was something where someone was in a kitchen. I at an office because I was yeah. I walked by. I'll show you what I did. Pretend, <laughs> pretend this is this is the kit. This is the kitchen. I'll okay. never understand the layout of Stephen's house. This is the kitchen here, Rich's house. And then, <laughs> and then I was like this. I was like, so okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm not done. Hold on. <laughs> this is the kitchen. Hold on. <laughs> So wait, Krusty? No, hold, hold on, the movie. Hold on. This is the kitchen, and this is Harrison Ford. Oh. And so Krusty is Harrison, and the chair yeah. is the kitchen, and he's lying on the kitchen. <laughs> no, <laughs> hey, no, hey, kids. no the, the chair is like the the wall of the kitchen. Hold on. Who's that? Yeah. What's that yellow pillow character on the couch? Yeah, I like that's that a, guy. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> this is a board game. Piece. Yeah, so, that sounds right. That tracks. So, <laughs> so this, hold on. So this guy, these guys are talking, right? But yeah. that's Harry. You can see Harrison here. Is the other one Donald other Moffat? Guy. Is that Donald Moffat? Donald Moffat? Uh, I don't. I didn't know the other guy. The president. The president. The president. You would know yeah. if it was the president. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're in the kitchen. Yeah, he's not the thing. Right, and then when they're in the kitchen, they're talking. And they're like, oh, this, what's going on? I don't know. It's something. And then it was like this. Excuse me. 
So you had the line. You got the line in there. No, I think I said it. I, that was uh, and, and I improvised to that. Oh, part. yeah, right. but that's good. That's how you get yourself bumped up, Taft Hartley. Half you know. Hartley. Yeah. yeah. Did but, you get Taft uh, Hartley? What's that now? Well, it's a nine tag that make you yeah, fill out paperwork yeah, saying that you were the only person who could fulfill this role. Yeah. There's no one else that could have done it. It was a specialty gig, and it's just a one-time thing. And if you do it again, you have to do it tag. It's a real nightmare paperwork for production I, hey, coordinators Patrick, and talent hey, people. Patrick, Patrick, I'm trying to listen to George. If you could, oh, uh, you were talking George. over him. Go ahead, George. Yeah, and that's the way it works. <laughs> oh, okay. No, that didn't happen either. They just yeah. said, uh, hey, we're going to do it one more time, but this time don't say anything. Okay. Yeah. Can we see now? Second take. Let's do the second take. In the movie, you still see those guys? Yeah. Back to one. Back to one. Places. Oh, but I didn't even tell you this part. So before we start, (laughs) they introduce me. They say, "Hey, everybody, can I have your attention? Everybody, stop work. Stop the work." Uh, This is Stephen. He won our Jello walk-on contest. Uh huh. So then, after the introduction, then I did the scene. Oh. Good comment, Matt Landry. So then, so then I come in like this. They're talking. Remember, they're talking okay. about stuff. Boom, boom, like boom, this. boom, 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 talk, 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 talk. I'm the president. Just like that. That's that was good. That was yeah. good. That's See, good. That shot makes me want to add you back into add you into Star Wars. You know, <laughs> have you walk in front of some scenes? That'd be that would be amazing. Yeah, I can't do it though. I don't got the rights. Oh, well, call Walt. Steven, I have to be honest. You know, you're a fan favorite, and the chat exploded the second you came on the show and surprised oh, that's very nice. Yeah. And, and, and there's another guest today that they are responding to with a kind of energy I haven't seen since the first time you came on the show. Mm-hmm. Oh, who's that? And it's, it's the yellow guy. I see a lot of people saying in the chat, oh. I want to see more of the yellow guy. Well, you should meet his brother, the green guy. What? <laughs> what a reveal. What a reveal. I should have saved him for next time, but I sort of was so excited that everybody was so excited I'm, about him. I'm sure there's more. <laughs> I'm sure we will see more. Uh, uh, Steven, I've been working on my impression this week at this episode. Can I do a quick impression for you? Please. <clears throat> okay, ready? Yep. Okay, this impression is a brick wall. Wow. Oh, the one from... Uh, <laughs> okay. This, this impression is woke Wato. Wato says gay <laughs> Mm-hmm. But here's my biggest impression that I've been working. Green. Wow. Now has the range to be ready. See if you recognize this. Oh. He's yeah. your friend, Stephen. He's your friend. Grab him. Wait, Grab your Wait, that's this guy. And and I made you I, look. And I have to say, I have to say, I know from uh I know from <laughs> What I've heard about uh, uh, what you're doing, Wado, that it's difficult. Yeah. No. What what you're doing right now, Wado? I've heard it's. I've heard it's. I don't know if I would say it's difficult. I say it's not easy, but I yeah. wouldn't say it's difficult. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, now, Wado, can you? But put your arms down straight by your side, because I think that's also a friend of Stevens. No, straight down all the way. Oh. <gasps> Steven. I know who that is. Steven, is it this guy? It sure is. Look at you. It sure is pickles. Pickle now, Steven, Steven, I bought uh, this. I bought this a few months ago, thinking, "Oh, Steven will be back soon," and then it just didn't happen. Should we? Should we commune with a, a pickle? I've never had one of these, Steven. Hang on. I'm Pickle Wato. <laughs> I am Pickle Wato. I am Pickle Wato. I got him! Here we go. Hey, they're, are they so hard to open? <laughs> you said I got him. Steven, you said I got him just like Luke Skywalker when he shot down that TIE fighter. 
Yeah. I could do impressions too. Oh my God, Stephen, what the fuck? They're really, really hard. You got to get the angle. There's a knack to it. There you go. Oh my God. They're. Uh, I'm nervous. I'm going to break my table. They're yeah. tough. I've gotten a little callous here. Yeah. It's actually not a su- This is the sucker punch. <laughs> That's right. That's right. They send me the openable ones, and the rest are for the rubes. Yeah. Permanent pickles, never to be opened. That's right. They're an art piece. Yeah. You bought some art, Patrick. Oh, you bought art pickles, you fool. You bought the art pickles as a bit. Did you get it? No. I got a butter knife. Oh, my God. What, what is this? What are you going to do with Another that? Painting. Good question. Ooh, did I get it? Hey, I got it. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey I got it. <laughs> now, those are those spears or uh, chips? Chips. Chips. Now, Stephen, I'm not. This is listen. This is what was on Amazon when I was buying groceries one week. Uh huh. And I was like, if if I'm gonna get them, now's the time. You know, that's the time. I haven't had the. <clears throat> I haven't had. Sorry, my mouth is watering. I could get excited about these. <laughs> I haven't had the the spicy bread and butter. I'm sticking with my three pepper spears. I'm we not did. even a big spicy guy. So is this gonna like ruin my mouth? Yeah, no. you'll be fine. Okay, be fine. Can we uh, can we get some fan art of of two pickles as uh, motorcycle cops saying we're pickle chips from across the country? Mike, we're together. Let's do another one. Mike. <laughs> I'm pickle water. That's pretty good, Stephen. Right? Yeah, it's pretty good. Really good. Pretty good. Mm. I wish they would make a Stephen Charleston pickle. Has there been any movement on that? <laughs> no, things have gotten a little quiet on the pickle front. Don't be oh, honest. Well, it's that time of year, though. The beginning of the year, it's always yeah. Well, this is the low. The, the the annual annual low. But Stephen, here's the thing: you're here now. Should people repick up that uh, that trend? I was upset that they ever dropped it, but okay. yeah. So what is it? I want to Stephen my pickles. Crank it up! Crank up the okay. hashtag factory! Crank it up! <laughs> Brayson's not here. Wow. What is Grayson. it? We're calling it I Want to Steve in My Pickles? Yeah, I think it was something along those lines. And then it's at Sucker Punch Pick. Yeah, let's get yeah. it going. Let's, let's get it going. Get it going. There we go. Guys, now's the time. There's There are 400 of you watching right now. Now's the freaking time, you know? If all yeah, of you promised to buy a jar of those pickles. Yeah. It's done. Done in an instant. Maybe they should kickstart them. Pickle starter. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy fucking Holy shit. Oh, shit. oh, man. Oh, no. That's an idea. Yeah. I, I feel like people should never stop this campaign. And that's how, you, that's how it's gonna, you're going to make it happen. Cheeto Wato. Cheeto Wato. Hang on. Hang on. Steven, I'm going to make you full screen. Can you eat a pickle and we will all screen grab it and uh, oh, tweet yeah. it out? Yeah. Oh. But everybody will screen grab just a slightly different frame. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. Right, here we go, everyone. Get those. And great. Got it. Wait, you don't yell cut, Patrick. I'm saying I got it. <laughs> some people are going to want to make GIFs. Yeah. They want the whole thing. Yeah. All right. Justin Chu. I believe in you, Justin Chills, he's got nothing to lose. I like the tinkly part at the end. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it doesn't end in an explosion. No, I like that it's peaceful and, and sort of contemplative. Yeah. Now, while we're at it, I might not have liked the taste of the Cheeto Wato, a.k.a. the ultimate snack, but I love the shape. So I want to start a similar campaign. I want to ask people to tweet at Chester Cheetah. <laughs> Hashtag, I want to Wato my Cheetos. I think they should make Oops All Wato bags of Cheetos. 
where every Cheeto is shaped like Watto. That's why if you want a Cheeto that looks like Watto, you don't have to buy one on eBay for $10 that is stale as shit and it's probably going to give you diarrhea for a week. A so new what? bag of fresh Cheeto Wattos. Hashtag, I want to watch all my Cheetos. Oops, all Wattos. Oops, all Wattos is the perfect. So, Watto, Watto, what you're saying is, I hate your shape. I hate your taste, but I love your shape. Exactly. Yeah. Please, ask Chester Cheetah. Hashtag, I want to cheat on my Wattos. Oops, all Wattos Cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, all Watto Cheetos is a really, it just rolls off the tongue. It's clean. It's, clean. Yeah. it's a thin premise. It's, 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 yeah. it's snappy. Uh -huh. yeah. What are you eating uh, Cheetos? I no, will no, say. They made a mistake. I will say. Oops, all Watto Cheetos. There I've, it is. See? I've scrolled down. There are like seven or eight photos of Steven going. There's <laughs> <laughs> like a bunch of pickles. I need about 402 more of those. <laughs> I need nice. as many as there are people watching. Yes. Here's here's what we say. You wanna you wanna shout so loud that they hear you. You know? That's right. You and know what we should do is a thunderclap. How do we do it? Let's do it right now. You ever do one of those? No. Oh, that's like a marketing thing <clears throat> where you get everybody to sign up to do a thunderclap. I heard about this. It's a most fucking annoying thing I've ever seen. Everybody signs up for it, so like, be a part of our thunderclap. Yeah, and it means that everybody involved sets a thing, and it auto tweets at the exact same time. All the people who signed up just goes boom. I want to Steve in my pickles, <laughs> and, and sucker punch pickles in the office. They feel like a what the hell was that? And they go to the computer and they look at Twitter and they go, oh, oh, Jeff, get in here. You got to see this, and it's just walls of text. I want to point out that Patrick was holding his hands up, getting ready to thunderclap until 30 seconds ago. I still want to do it. Well, you yeah, can do I, it. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine all, with that. Let's all clap at the same time. Yeah, I just don't know if they'll hear that, but yeah, let's do it. One, two, three. And oh, now like we can that. also, it will help us sync picture to audio did, later. Wait. That's <laughs> right. Did Rich... Did Rich teach you that uh, advertising technique? Is that where you got that from? Why would Rich teach that? Why to would me? Rich teach about advertising? <laughs> because he played a character once. That is the <laughs> most. That is <laughs> so. To be fair, to be fair, he played the character twice. He's also in a futile and stupid jester. Mm hmm. Good point, Pat Patrick. Good point, Patrick. But do you not understand the difference between <laughs> fantasy and reality, Patrick? I just think he would probably pick up a few things on the job. One would think that while doing a job, one would pick up some things, this and is, yet you keep on putting yeah. your foot in your fucking mouth. Watto, Watto, hang on. Let's make hey, this easier. Hey. We're, we're beating around the dang bush. Steven, can you go get Rich for us, and can we ask him? Yeah, I'll go get him, but I wouldn't bring up the advertising thing. Oh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> Pat, you are cruising for the bruising. I just wanted to talk to Rich a little bit. And Patrick. Patrick. Yeah, yeah, George. While we're while we're waiting, do you want to ask me questions about uh, what it's like to wait for something for a little bit and have to wait a little longer than you'd like? That's good. Patrick, do Patrick, you can want ask me questions about waiting for something for a little bit longer than we'd like to? Because I played a guy in Beverly Hills Cop 3 who was waiting in line, had to wait a little longer. So I must be an expert on waiting, huh? Rich. Hey, guys. Good to see you, buddy. Hey, hey Rich, buddy. Hi, Rich. Hey, listen, I want to apologize for what Patrick's about to do. We know that you're more than a role that you played. Twice. Okay. You played uh, it all, I know, all I know about what might happen here is Stephen... Just walked past me in our. We have a really, really long hallway right over here. Mm -hmm. uh, you get the layout. <laughs> he walked confused, past me. Go on. <laughs> he walked past me, and he just—he didn't even look at me. He just went, uh, you know, get get ready or something. Like that. He just was like, ah, 
Is that what he said? You don't remember yeah. what he said? It was like yeah. no, it was, <laughs> it's a it's a super long hallway. We hadn't exactly passed yet, and yeah. I was like, "What's that?" And he just sort of just kept going. So, okay, uh, uh, Rich, I want to make it very clear that Patrick speaks only for himself. He does okay. not I'm, represent. I'm very nervous about what is about the to happen. George Lucas talk show. We do not okay. co-sign what he's about to ask you. Hang okay. On one second. Hang on one second. Let me just fix something. You better be fixing your attitude. That's the only thing you should oh, be fixing oh. before you ask I these like questions. The, I like the Cheeto suit, Lotto. Oh, thank you. Uh, it's a new campaign. Everyone tweets at Chester Cheetah, hashtag Watto My Cheetos. I want to Watto My Cheetos. <laughs> We're trying to make an oops or Watto's edition of Cheetos. You get it. I don't have to explain it anymore. Yeah. Um, Rich. Huh? You probably, I mean, you spent a lot of time playing uh, an advertising executive, right? Over multiple projects. Well, multiple networks, one, multiple one projects. Project, I mean, no, no, no. There was also a stupid infusion. Uh, I don't investors. count that, but yeah. But, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm credited. I, I'll be honest. I asked them to call the character Larry Crane so I didn't ever have to have this kind of conversation. But. Hold on, Rich. Hold on, Rich. I have to do something official. We've never had to do this before. I have to revoke Patrick's good point. He got a, a good point, Patrick, a little while ago. Everyone was saying, good point, Patrick. We have to officially stricken it from the record. We are taking okay. away Patrick's good point. Because it turns out it's not a good point. There's a difference between Harry Cl Harry Crane and Larry Crane, Patrick. Mm -hmm. Would you watch Curb Your Enthusiasm by Harry David? Would you watch would you the watch Harry Sanders show? Would you watch Larry and the Hendersons? <laughs> yeah. uh, if I may, these are really good points. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I'll take one. <laughs> Would you be watching Sesame Street and see Larry Monster? And then watch a basketball game with Harry Bird? Yeah. Or, or Larry Carey? Yeah, what about Larry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone? Larry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets? Larry Potter and the Prisoner <laughs> of Azkaban? Larry Potter and the Goblet of Fire? Larry Potter and the... Yeah. Half Blood Prince or the, the Phoenix. Larry Potter and the Half Blood Prince. Larry Potter and the Deathly Hollow. And and the play. Larry mm -hmm. Potter, the cursed child. But that's some point. Point. And and Patrick, would you would you have spent all day today on a, a tribute show to Larry Sinford? Oh. 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 Where are you talking? Where are you getting calls from? <laughs> Everyone's calling on the phone to talk about that. Thing. Can I be honest with you guys? Can I be honest with you for really, just yeah. really quick? Yeah, you don't like this. No, I was zoning out for a few seconds at the beginning of this, and I have truly no idea how we got to where we are right now. <laughs> <laughs> I missed the Harry Larry thing. I don't know what that means. My point was, Patrick, yeah. in trying to say that I played the character of Harry Crane in two different things, I was saying, while it was credited as such, I actually mm -hmm. asked for it to be credited as Larry Crane because I didn't want the two to be associated. I missed that. I missed that. Well, now you I'm... got it, and so you can retroactively get how good those yeah. points were that those guys were making. Patrick, yeah. I miss it, too. Yeah, I miss it dearly. <laughs> COVID's been hard on everyone. I miss it. I miss it. I miss it too. Patrick, can I say something? Do you miss this? Because it really does feel like in the last couple of minutes you've been missing the point. <laughs> Patrick. <laughs> Do you, you miss this, Patrick? Do you miss this? Patrick, do you miss this? You know, I always appreciate that Stephen and I tend to come on at the very end of a long day for you guys. <laughs> when and we're I, really starting to get warm. When it's really starting to get, to, get the, to get cooking. This is what we don't bring you on until the show really starts. Mm -hmm. We don't bring you on because we're ready. We bring you on because we're live. <laughs> Because it's midnight on Sunday, <laughs> technically Monday morning. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, it's only 9.30 for George. Yeah, but I was up way earlier. Yeah, yeah. 
And I'm 76 years old. You guys never factor that in. No, I'm only 23. And Patrick's still 12. <laughs> He's the hairiest. All right. Well, Rich, I guess. I guess I, I don't. Oh, need I'm to sorry. Know. He's the lariest boy in his school. <laughs> Rich, I don't need to talk about what we were talking about. I, you can. No, no, you have to do it. You have to do it. Hello. You are so ready to make your point. You have to finish. Uh, um, ooh, pickles. Mm -hmm. Sucker punch. You know sucker punch? I do. Yeah. yeah. We have quite a few in our fridge. Yeah. Patrick, um, can we hear a pickle review? I I, I want to know what you think of those pickles. <clears throat> yeah. Hang on. We're going to do some ASMR. I'm oh. Ooh, right up, right here. The pickle's pretty good. It's a little thinner than I would have expected it had been. I sort of thought there'd be a little bit. I mean, it's very crunchy, but I really thought I'd be able to like chew into it, and it would be like a big, a big thick pickle. I like some of the stuff that's on top of it. The seasoning, the spices, the stuff that makes it hot. But the, every once in a while, I get a little thin piece of something. Maybe Stephen would know what this was. Where? Uh, let me try to get one on my finger. Hang on. Here we go. It looks like this. I don't know what it is, I but it, you can't really chew on it. It's sort of just one of those things where you just have to swallow it if you really want it, but I don't really want it. So I've sort of been picking them out of my teeth every so often. I think overall they're pretty good, and I would recommend that people buy them, but only, and I repeat, only if they're Stephen Charleston branded. Otherwise, I think you gotta hold out and wait until we get the Stephen Charleston branded ones. That's a pickle protest. That's a hashtag. That's a pickle protest, ladies. Hashtag. That's a pickle protest, ladies. That had me. Th that had me thinking, Patrick. I like that you volunteered. That that's a kind of a new segment we haven't done before. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna type something in the chat. And okay, I'm leave. gonna bring up a piece of fan art that we got. Steven, I don't know if it's on the Blu-ray or the um, DVD, maybe, but I think your scene got released. Yeah, you might want to get Steven so he can see this. Can you go get Steven? Because, oh, yeah, it's not even your scene. It's Steven's scene. I Probably forgot. You, guys, you just live together, so it sort of gets confusing after a while. Can you go grab Steven for us? Yep. <clears throat> it's got to go down the hallway. It just seems so I'm going to type something every, in the private chat, okay? Every time they go get his roommate. I think he's pissed because Steven pops a little harder on the yeah. show than he That's is. not our fault. I know it's not. I understand, but it's a competitive business. I can I type something like in the I private like chat. I type something in the private chat. I'd like you both to look at it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's something, right? I think yeah. it is something. Yeah. You want to say it, George? Uh yeah, uh can you can you just bring it up? Can you type that and bring it up? What's the most impressive way to bring it up as a possible? A possible? It's a half an oh, hour. I know how. I know how. Hang on one second. Yeah. Here we go. You ready? It's gonna be yeah. a ticker on the bottom. It took All me right. a second to kind of mm -hmm. put together. It what takes I was a moment. At. I got it. <laughs> mm -hmm. We own this. <laughs> we own this. <laughs> we own this. We own this. This is we own. This. We own. Mm -hmm. It is being created in the moment. It, it... Hang on, hang on. Here we go. You ready? You ready? Here we go. I got him. I got him. Great kid. Don't get cocky. Okay. Let's no wait. Patrick, don't you don't not... don't reference anything that they own because then they'll take this from us. We need to make sure we we own this. <laughs> this is all new. This is all new. Okay. All no. new stuff. If it no, sounds. Patrick. If it sounds like it's the thing that it, also, that we're talking about, welcome back. Thank you for coming. Back. Hi, thanks. Thanks. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you, uh, uh, Patrick. While you're still in a uh, stay some more wars yeah. mode, stay some more wars. Yes, <laughs> while you're still in stay some more wars. That just rolls off the tongue. Stay some more wars. Stay some more wars. Can you stay some more wars? Can you show Stephen the thing we want to show him? Stephen, Stephen. Do you remember how you filmed that scene for Clear and Present Danger? Mm-hmm, I do. I told you all about it. Do you do you have an agent or like an entertainment lawyer or anything? No. I think you might be due for 
some residuals because it seems like they released at least a still from your deleted scene. What? Isn't this crazy? It's been after so many years, but sometimes like Shout Factory or something likes to put out a new Blu-ray with like a bunch of extra bonus features. I've never Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's the guy! That is, that's uh... <laughs> Donald Moffat. That's him! Yeah. Wow! Look at us! I haven't seen that set in a long time! Steven, you described this scene so perfectly. It's, it's incredible like how well it matches. Yes. And look, they even got God who told you about who told you about the contest. She's right behind you. Oh yeah. That's <laughs> Alanis Morissette from Dogma. Friend right of the show, Kevin Smith. Right, yeah. Right the show, Kevin Smith. Yes. Wow. Gosh, yeah. it's just like I remember it. <laughs> wow. Well, Thank I'm glad. you for that. I'm glad. Steven, do you feel like you pop more than Rich sometimes? Oh, yeah. Do you think that's why he's mad to bring you on? He always seems very, like, like burdened every time we say, can you go get Steven? I don't know if that's it. What's mm. going on? What is it? Yeah, I mean, if 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 it's not that, should we ask him directly? Maybe you want to go get <laughs> Rich and we can ask him? Huh. I don't know. You can no. answer. We're giving you the out. If you want to answer, you can answer. But also, if you want to get rich, it's up to you. It's up to you. You can go get rich if you want. It's always your choice. <laughs> I think it's more. It's probably just a jealousy thing. Mm. How are How are your kids doing? My kids. Yeah. He doesn't have kids. Oh, Look at Patrick. I believe. I believe multiple <laughs> times. Patrick. Uh, you mean Rich's kids? Yeah, that's what I meant. Patrick, don't okay. feed into this. this is They're good. fine. Can you not do that? We have a lot of things going on here. Yeah, they're <laughs> fine. Okay. Patrick, Patrick, don't be a mischief maker. I'm not being don't a mischief maker. Be Steven, I'm going to put it I think you're a meddler. <laughs> Steven, I, did that I, give you I, chills I, on your neck on your ASMR? I thought you said, did that give you chills on your neck on your ass? No. <laughs> no. You listen to pull, the rest of what I said. <laughs> Steven, I'm going to pull you off the screen really quick. I need to talk okay. to Steve Owato in regards to your George Lucas. If you guys remember, multiple yeah. times in the past, Steven has called Rich's children his children. Yeah, it's a problem. And you're, you're, yeah. It's, it's a I, problem. I don't understand why you're indulging him in this fantasy. Is this some sort of Shutter Island radical form of therapy for you? No. You remember that part? Yeah, after his yeah. children had been drowned by his wife. Yeah. All right, yeah. I'm going to bring him back in. We'll see. Real, real great moment to goof and spoof on. <laughs> I don't remember anything else from the movie. Well, listen, before you bring Steven back yeah. on. Oh, you right. remember? They feel like you'll never escape that island. Remember that part in Broad City? That was funny. Yeah. Hey. Patrick, what's going on with you now? Patrick, what the <laughs> fuck is going on with you? Can I ask you, okay, but before you do, can I ask you one question? Yeah. What's your fucking deal, man? <laughs> what's your fucking deal, man? <laughs> and this is coming from Shito Wato. Yeah. Steven, I know what you think Patrick would do if you gave him a bunch of songs. <clears throat> <laughs> what, George? <laughs> Make a medley. Exactly. Oh shit. Yeah, you hit the the button on the button. The meddler. Look at him <laughs> leaning back. Hugging himself on his own couch. <laughs> Look at the way he leaned back into his own hug. <laughs> I've never seen such self love on Twitch. Isn't that good? Isn't that yeah, good I'm not criticizing. It's just a little bit whimsical to see a meddler lean back for his own hug. Well, it's the only hug he's going to get because he's Steven, meddled away cruel. all the other ones. Steven, don't be cruel. Wow. Don't I'm be not cruel. being cruel. I, I'm naming the moment. I'm on your side, but that was a cruel naming of the moment, Stephen. Stephen, are you seeing anyone right now? I don't know. Steven, that's a legitimate question. This is a talk. Hey, yo, yo! Steven, are you seeing anyone? Steven. Look at us. 
Look when we're us. talking to you. Look at us. Make eye contact. I did earlier. You made eye contact earlier? Yeah. That doesn't count. You can't I mean, save up eye contact George, for later. Right now, George, look at Steven. Okay, look at Steven, George. George, look at Steven. <laughs> oh, no. No, Steven. He's looking at... Oh, no. Oh, Wado, he's taking over your screen. Oh, wow. Oh. Steven. Oh, I get it. I get it, man. Steven. What? Look at me, Steven. I'm up here. Uh, okay. <laughs> Higher. Uh, no that, that looks. That reads more like it. Hi. Oh, is this a camera? You want ca eyeline? Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Stephen, be careful. There is a there is a Wado Cheeto that might come through exactly where you're at. Oh uh, no. Oh uh, no. <laughs> Oh, no. No, 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 What is that? What am I no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Thank you. You're welcome. I think we might have just broken a Twitch rule. I do. Steven, can you answer our question? We just generally want to know. We're trying to check in on your well-being. I'm good, man. Are you seeing anybody? No, are you? No. Okay. It's a pandemic. Why? Why shame him on this? It's a pandemic. Are you saying this to me? Yes, it's a I'm pandemic. Like, I'm just trying to check in on his life to see if anything is changing. Patrick, it's a pandemic. Stephen, Stephen, what gets your motor going these days? Hmm. I was pretty excited when we were talking about the movie that I was in earlier. Do you, know you know there were there were two prequels to that movie? Yeah, well, there was the submarine one, and and there was the the royal family one. What's that one? Patriot Games. I wasn't in that one. What if I, I mean, told you, I... what if I told you you were oh. listening? Would that excite you? Yeah. Well, I got some good news for you, Stephen. You were in Patriot Games. Which part? The part. Uh oh. Where the cars pull up. There's an ambush, and there's some cars, and and Jack Ryan is is, and you're there, and you're yelling at them. This shouldn't be happening with cars now. I do that. It's a good scene. Well, that makes me feel good. I know it does. That's why I told you it. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I'm a storyteller, Stephen. That's what I main thing I do. I wanted to say <clears throat> something that I really liked was that comment a couple seconds ago where someone said, "I'm really happy for anyone who's who's into this or into <laughs> what's happening." Whatever they said. <laughs> where is that? It, said, it said something like, "I'm so happy for anyone who's into what into this that." <laughs> yeah. The, the comment I saw that I really liked. Is someone said, what happened to Watto? And another person very casually said, he is Cheeto Watto. <laughs> <laughs> no well, they cleared and it all just up. Like that, and just like that, it's as if they were here all along. Can I tell you the genuinely most insane part of all of this? What? We're about still on average for where we were most of the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, how, what's our total that we've raised, Patrick? A great question, George. Let's see. Wings of hope. Wings of hope. We are at. Oh wow. Um. How angry would people be if they if we suddenly revealed in a major rug pull that Wings of Hope was actually just a it was a Kickstarter to make a new Bob Hope TV special? <laughs> that would only be like shown. A, in, it would only be shown in airplanes. The computer there we generated go. Bob Hope. Look at yeah. that. That's pretty good. 853115. 8531, the Widowmaker. That's a good amount. I mean, if That's Harrison good. if Harrison was here, I think he'd be happy that we did this. I think yeah. he'd be very happy. 
I, 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 everything I've known about him from the day we met, it would indicate that. Yeah. Can I, um, this is not to negate how much money we made, but I just finished reading the, uh, complete making of Indiana Jones book last night. I read it all in prep for this. Wow. And Harrison had to come back for one day of reshoots. I think it was on last crusade and his one day of reshoots cost was $11,000. And I think it's really funny that in 1989, it was $11,000. It's a lot of money. Wait, he got paid that much for the day? For one day. Didn't uh, yeah. didn't Marky Mark do something like that uh, more oh. recently? Yeah, they paid him all the money in the world. <laughs> mm-hmm. They sure did. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, it was for that movie, too. Yeah, that's why oh, I said it. Oh, it was! Oh, wow! Oh, 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 oh. That point, was Patrick. the joke. Good point, Patrick. We need we need to make sure that Bryson knows to make the good point, Patrick, bumper. And also a bumper where the point, good point is rescinded. Patrick, there's a reason I didn't say, yeah, they paid him the happening. The joke is that the movie in which they paid him so much for the region had a title that also could describe an amount of money he was paid for said refills. Could you check your pockets? I can't find my urine. Oh, oh no. <laughs> what did he say, Stephen? Honestly, what did you just hear him say? I think he said, did you check your pockets? I can't find my... Now, to my ears, it said urine. <laughs> but, but logically... I think it would have to be earring, but I... Yeah, no, you're correct on both counts. Okay. You have... Someone stole my earring. Has anyone seen my earring? Right. It's, it's, it's clearer on that one. <laughs> He's got that real nice liquid E at the beginning of earring. Yes. Uh, you are correct that it sounds like urine, but it has to be. Do you know that... Do you know that... In the song, I've Got No Strings, that Pinocchio <laughs> sings, that Ultron sings in the second Avengers movie. <laughs> Do you know? If you were to keep on, keep on singing that song, eventually it would get to a legitimate lyric where he says, I'll, I'll bust my string on you. <laughs> oh, no. get to that lyric wow it just makes me wonder about how many songs they just kept going if all songs you eventually say that <laughs> like if you had to keep going is that just one of those things that's inevitable <laughs> I, don't know why, I, so. I don't know why i don't know why pinocchio would sing that I'll bust, I'll bust why am i here on you bryson i thought you were on break I am on break. Are you boys okay? <laughs> right, so did you hear what we just said? I was logging in, so I missed the last maybe minute or two. Okay, George, well, got to repeat it. All right. Well, first of all, play that. Play the Harrison video, and you tell me. Oh. I know you know what he says, but what does it sound like? He says, "Bryson, it's, is Patrick it's frozen? Did you play a bumper?" I guess Price. Oh, okay, I guess I'll just tell you this. You know, Pinocchio. Someone stole my earring. Has anyone seen my earring? <laughs> Did you check your pockets? I can't find my earring. What does it sound like he says? Is it, it sounds like he says urine? Yeah. <laughs> now you remember in Pinocchio when uh Stromboli when Stromboli Pinocchio's working for Stromboli. Mm -hmm. Right, you remember that, right? Yeah. You remember it was on a puppet show, and Pinocchio is the new star of it, and they're mm -hmm. making a big deal. He sings a whole musical number because it's a marionette show. Yeah, and Pinocchio is the uh, the only puppet that doesn't require strings. It's kind of an impressive part of the new new part of the show. And so he sings this song, "I Got No Strings to Hold mm -hmm. Me Down to Make Me Laugh, Make Me Frown." You remember that? 
Yeah. Okay, the song goes on longer than than what we hear, I think. Or I never heard this part anyway. I have no memory of it. Yeah. Okay, now you remember when Ultron sings that song? Yeah. All right. Eventually, um Ultron say that song. If you were to do the full lyrics, they get to get to I get to where, where the lyrics is. I'll bust my string on you. <laughs> Patrick, go. Patrick, you here? Patrick is not here. Where did he go? He is super gone. What do you mean? What's that mean? That's a new term on this show. No one's ever been super gone. He's not <laughs> backstage at all. Patrick, where are you? I didn't even intend to come on the stream. I don't well, know then, why I'm here. Bryson, I thought you were on break. I, we I was you were on today different. off, but then you guys seem to be in some sort of state. So I came into the stream here to check. <laughs> I'm fine, <laughs> brother. I'm fine. Steven, I know you're fine. You're always fine. You're a consummate pro, but these guys I get worried about. I'm not going to end the show with Patrick gone. So if he thinks that leaving means that the show is going to end because he left. He's dead wrong. He's dead wrong. He just he just condemned his friends to stay all night. I also heard you guys pitching new bumpers while I was on break. And I just wanted to address that like man to man to Toy Darian. All right. Okay. I, I, when I uploaded all of the Harrison bot videos, I did realize uh, I came across a new error in StreamYard, which is that we have too many bumpers. Okay. We have reached the bumper capacity. The okay. bumper limit? There's well, a bumper limit. Patrick, PC. welcome back. We missed you. Patrick, we missed you. Where'd you go? Patrick, we missed you. My Wi-Fi decided after 13 hours or 14 hours, it was probably time to stop. You sound a little bit like Borat. My Wi-Fi decided. Mm. <laughs> mm. What's Bryson doing here? He doesn't I don't know. Even know. I don't mean to be on. I, I want to be clear what Bryson told us when you were not here, Patrick. Hey, and Patrick, I want you to be ready. This is a big one. This right. is good. Okay. Bryson came on to this show. Yeah. And announced that he did not intend to come on to this show. What does that mean? And he sees it, <laughs> I don't know, because he's here of his own free will, but he seems yeah. he seems to be accusing us of somehow luring him into the show. He's also I, looking I real... on my iPad, and for some reason, as soon as I joined the stream yard, I was big. That can't be true. What did you make a Zoltar wish? <laughs> on the street. I wait a second. I know what happened. Bryson tried to take the week off from the show, but Stephen Charleston used the golden link. And when the golden link has been used, it reverts back to Bryson. Bryson has to give the golden link to someone else. And now the mythology is tight. <laughs> I give the link to Stephen Weber. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> no! You, but it's gonna be with him for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> um, you gotta give it to somebody who will use okay, it. Okay. Can I? Can I? Can I undo that? Can I actually give it to somebody? Sure. I know. Yeah. I know. Who, yeah. Who? I'm giving the golden friggin' link to Rosie Motherfucking O'Donnell. Oh, oh, right. oh. That's I, great, Bryson. I would have given it to Rich Summer. I think it, whatever it is, it Rosie. should have been an ASMR. Really, yeah. Rosie? I would have given it to Rich Summer. Rosie, mm. really? No, I'm giving it to Rosie. I like this. If the gauntlet is thrown, Rosie, come on the George Lucas talk show. We're giving you the golden link. You whenever you on. want. Whenever you want. So much mythology to explain. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie, <laughs> if you can hear me. It's hashtag strings Watto. I've made of strings now. I promise not to bust them on you. We are giving you the golden link. It means you can come on the show at any time. Yeah. Oh, we have some news for you, Patrick, but you need to make me full screen. Not full screen, but full screen so I can see your reaction. Because Bryson just told us that we reached 
the bumper limit. What does that mean, Bryson? When I when I uploaded all the Harrison videos, mind you, when you no longer need the Harrison videos, there's like ten slots there. We but... can get we can get rid of Beretta merch corner. No, we're keeping no. that's evergreen. It's evergreen. That's evergreen. <laughs> Steven, no, it, Steven. it was the first time I ever saw the you have you have too many things uploaded on StreamYard. You are I want to it. explain what Beretta Merch Corner was to Stephen Charles. Uh huh. Beretta Merch Corner. Let me play it for you. Hang on one second. This, this yeah. is among the thickest parts of our mythology. Beretta Merch Corner uh, came up during our Muppets Tonight marathon, which I believe you were on, Stephen. I believe uh, you came on for the Muppets Tonight one. That I don't sounds know. great. Ate, ate some pickle. This is it. Beretta Merch Corner. Wow, Bill Beretta. Hey. Bill Beretta is a Muppet performer. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what your your familiarity is. Steve. I know him, and I. I mean, I know who he is. Yeah, and I know who Eric Jacobson is. Yeah. Why do you know these, Stephen? Well, I met people. Hey, he's a working professional in the industry. <laughs> okay. And Bill said, "I have some merch I want to show off on the stream," and I said, "Oh, we should make that a segment." <laughs> Forgot so, to forgot to explain it to Bill, and I said, "Oh, it's Beretta Merch Corner time," and played it, <laughs> and it was nothing. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't it, received in the way in which it was intended. Yeah, it was Stephen. It was the worst received bumper. I would yeah. say. Yeah. Although we got a lot of use out of it tonight, today. Yeah. yeah. It was more of a. It, it was received. I believe he said, "Well, it's not really merch, but <laughs> and yeah. it just kept going." Didn't I he call also, it merch? Huh? Didn't he I don't call remember, it merch? I don't remember what the official word. I, I believe it was. I believe he called yeah. it merch. I don't Patrick, remember. Did you fuck me on that when you asked for that bumper? No. Absolutely. Patrick fucked you on that one. And this is another detail we're leaving out, Stephen. Hmm. It was the most expensive bumper we've ever produced. We really broke the bank on that bumper. What, what a, does it cost to make a bumper? Well, you don't this is the first one. Know, it was Steven. the only one that we've ever done in 4K. Yeah. Can We've I, done a couple in 4K. Yes. So that, was yeah. Tony, that was when yeah. Tony Hale was on. Yes. Yeah. It was the only high frame rate bumper. We shot that bumper at 120 frames per second. 120 mm -hmm. FPS. Bumper Lens. Bumper the, Lens Long Halftime Bumper. That's what we called it. Beretta Merch <laughs> Corner also has an unreleased edit of itself that I showed to Patrick that was not the one that we went with because Patrick said that that one would be not received well. Yeah. Wow. You, you second you guessed yourself. Maybe that one would have been really well received. It wouldn't have. It you wouldn't have. Never, you, see, you never know. You never know. You never know. You never know. All right, Bryson. I mean, if you're not going to make any more bumpers, I don't know what we're doing. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've never desperately wanted you to play my bye bye bumper more than right now. Oh, Patrick? Yeah. George. My instinct is to not play that. <laughs> it's like when my kids are begging for it. Oh, no! Sorry! <laughs> oh God, Stephen! Oh no! Oh God, I'm See? sorry. See, Bryson, this is when the show really starts. Oh no! Now I have to sell my stuff. <laughs> what does what? that mean? What does that, that, that rule? Rich told me if I called the my kids again, I had to sell all my stuff. Okay, wait a second, Stephen. Stephen, just stay I there need for a merch one. Merch corner. Stephen, Stephen, just stay there for one second. We're gonna take you off the stream for one second. Okay. We need a Stephen Charleston merch yeah, corner, bro. Yeah. Charleston. Okay. We'll delete. We'll delete Two all things. of them. Two things. One, we need a Stephen Charleston merch corner. Two, Patrick, you have to make this right. It's your fucking fault. You indulged him in this they're his kids fantasy. You asked him how his kids were doing. This is your fault. And now he's going to have to sell all his stuff. <laughs> Patrick, you have to fix this. You thought this was some fun Shutter Island game. Okay. It's not so fun anymore. All right, Am let's I do actually this. making a bumper? Yeah. Yes. Bye bye, Bryson. <laughs> Okay. Um, Part of his stuff is scissors. <laughs> and a magnifying glass. How's he going to cut stuff now? <laughs> I can't even look at the stuff to cut it anymore. So what's it matter? Now, Stephen, my question is, 
He just needs you to sell it. You're not moving out. No. It's, a pun- it's punitive, Patrick. Who's going to buy it, Stephen? I don't know. Who wants it? There, <laughs> Marvin Hamlish 517 will give me 15 bucks for the magnifying glass. I mean, that's... Oh, we got 20. Stephen, this is pretty good. <laughs> pretty good bidding. Oh, someone got 69. I don't know if it's a real one. I'll sell this for Wings of Hope right now. I don't think he wants to get with the green plushes. I think magnifying glass is on the table, though. 100%. Okay. All right. We are at, is 69 a real one? Because someone did bid 69. I don't know if it's real. I think we have to assess real. Frank's a parody at the end. Uh, guys, we're only we're only doing the magnifying glass. We are only doing the magnifying glass. I understand everybody wants all my other stuff, but I have to sell that, Rich says, to him. But this he doesn't care about. <laughs> okay. I mean, what's your what's your cutoff time, Stephen? What's the time that we should say end the auction? You tell me. You tell me, baby. Patrick, this is growth. Before you would have just said it's already over now. You're growing okay. as a person tonight. I'm not I'm never, forty dollars. Okay. Sixty-nine, sixty-nine. We got the oh 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 we got ninety-five dollars for the magnifying glass. Steven, can you hold tight for one second? We're just going to take you off the stream for one second. Just okay. hold tight, okay? Patrick, what the fuck are you doing? I said you have to fix this. Steven shouldn't have to sell all his stuff. <laughs> and now you're holding an auction for Steven's stuff. You're doing the exact opposite. You but, forced him into this. Yeah, but what a... At the same time, there is genuine growth in the way he's running the auction. I mean, look, you, you certainly have grown a lot as an auctioneer. I'm impressed on that one level. Wait, let's deal with these in separate. Well, let's keep these things separate. Yeah. Sure. On the one hand, you enabled his fantasy, which is a dangerous fantasy. Which dangerous. We, and, and you and you were proud about it. You were a little mischief maker. He even called you a meddler. But you're also being much better about not cutting off the auctions before oh. the bidding really gets going, since we are trying to raise money. Wings of Hope. So on the one hand, you need to think about a way to get Steven out of this and not have to sell all the stuff, but you're also running the auction for the magnifying class, which is going really well so far. And you're doing Okay, so we're at $69 because I'm a real money bags was apparently a code that we made up for a fake bid. So $69. We forgot our own code. We forgot our own auction code for fake bids. Now, now let's look at this because I think this is a real good selling point. If you I look wanted, through the- I just want to look through it one more time. Oh, you're you're being a real Jackson Maine right now. You just, just want to take another look for it. Time before I had to sell it. Yeah. Oh, this was his favorite magnifying glass. My <laughs> only one. I used it whenever I had to cut stuff. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, that's good stuff. Oh, oh. That. That, that's worth a lot. It's gonna have now, Stephen. This might it's bump fun. it up. This might bump it up more. Steven, will you sign that magnifying glass? Yeah. Will you kiss it some more? <laughs> With a lot more now because of all those kisses. Because it was loved. Oh, Steven, they're going to clone the hell out of you. <laughs> Think of all those uh, other Steven Charlesons running around. <laughs> that way, maybe I will have kids. Oh. That's growth. That's growth. It's growth. Gross. <laughs> It's a, it's a gross that. growth. Yeah. Okay, we're at 75. Stephen, what, Watto, George, what's the reasonable the time? Like old magnifying glass. I can't believe that it looks that good. And you, can just... my, you can see my lips on the back real good. I don't know wow. if you can, but I can. Yeah. Steven, is this the first time you've ever signed your name? Yeah. <laughs> How's it look? Not too bad. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how to make it look like a thing, but oh, I, we, I, I'm glad we're getting some fresh bids because I was a little worried that the people who are bidding for a functional magnifying glass as opposed to a collectible <laughs> celebrity magnifying glass. Because <laughs> there's a reason why big celebrities don't like embed their signature in a magnifying glass. It really mm-hmm. does make it a decorative. It does make Ooh, it slightly $100, less. $100. 125 I could sign the handle, I guess. Mean, yeah, and this is good because now with, these, now with these $150 bids, we have finally surpassed the highest uh, priced 
Rich Summer autograph on eBay, which is ninety five dollars. That's a Larry Crane picture right there. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. I'm just... I told no. you the kisses would bring it up. <laughs> this is a signature. It genuinely looks like a cool collectible to have a yeah. one of a kind <laughs> Stephen Charleston magnifying glass. <laughs> Wait, why are you doing this? Because <laughs> I'm just thinking. Oh, what are you thinking about? I'm thinking. I'm trying to figure out how long to keep this going because people will keep bidding or it'll just die out. Well, then it dies out and then we'd go with the highest bid. Okay. All right. We'll keep it going then. We'll just let leave it. Oh, we got $199. Oh, wow. Could, couldn't swing 200 Couldn't swing the 200 <laughs> This is someone who is pushed to their absolute limit. <laughs> I really... I really hope the next bid is one hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents. <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! One hundred ninety nine dollars oh. and one cent. Two hundred. We got two hundred. We got two hundred. Wow! Wow! Steven. I just need their address. Yeah, I'll get it for you. I'll get it for you. I just need that, and then I'll send it. I can't get it to you right now. I'll get it for you in a little bit. I can't send it right now anyway. <laughs> I don't know why we're screaming. What a weird fight. It happened so fast. <laughs> We've been doing this for 15 hours. <laughs> and that's half of what we've done it for before. Don't tell 225, yeah, that... 225, 225. This is great. This is great. This is real fun. And and this way I won't cut any more stuff because my scissors and my magnifying glass will be gone. Yeah. Right. What were you cutting? You sound like you're cutting a lot of stuff. Are the uh, scissors are the scissors part of this? No. No. Those are I have to sell those for to Rich. Rich. Rich will get those yeah. scissors. Will Rich be furious to know that the magnifying glass is gonna go to someone else? <laughs> no, this was mine from when I came here. Sure. You, you, arrived, stuff. you arrived with just a magnifying glass <laughs> and have acquired all these things since moving in. Now, Stephen, the thing that I can't wrap my head around is how did you get the Xbox controller but not the actual Xbox? Because Rich has an Xbox, but I can't play it with his controllers. He makes me use mine. Uh huh. So I bought that on Amazon. Oh, See, good. I want to test a theory. I think the bidding goes up when you hold it up real nice. Oh, yeah. One of these again? Wait, yeah. all those reflections. Some of those bids really fly in. Right. Could be also be the auction's over. It could be all the yeah. uh, all the the prime movers are, are try to move it try to move it away so your eye gets bigger. Nope. It just went up. Although I thought I mean, was, look at how well this magnifies. Do you know how much stuff you cut with this? I thought Blogtoven was the high bidder. Is Blogtoven just adding bids to their own bid? <laughs> What's happening, Blogtoven? You better not be <laughs> fucking with me here. I think this is real. Is this real? I think this is no, real. No, yeah, no, because it was uh, Coil B had 225. Uh, 230, 32. 230, 32. Oh, wow. Coil B and Blogtoven are in a death match yeah. for this magnifying glass. Yeah. I wonder if I they've ever, I, I wonder, are they friends in the chat or is this the beginning of a lifelong rivalry? I want to know mm. if you can see the real smoochy. Ooh. Grease oh, mark on the just back. Put a post yeah. it. There, yeah. right there. See it? Yeah. Wait, Wado, 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 here's the question. Steven, what? put that green back up. Put that green back up. Put the what up? The green the back post up. It. The post it. Oh, yeah. I don't think I can do it. I think Steven has to do it. Can he make that post it into a uh, green screen, Wado? Uh, uh, I don't know how well it will work. It works better with blue or green, but he can try. You, you go to the, you hit the cam mic button. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this is what we're going to do now. <laughs> oh, look! <laughs> Steven, tell us a joke, Steven. Tell us a joke. I don't know what... What is it with all always having to sell your stuff when you make just one mistake a bunch of times? <laughs> What's the deal? bum ba da ba 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 uh, Stephen, I do like also that when your green from your post-it note reflects in your glasses, yeah, the uh, the, the, the uh, bricks also show up in your glasses. I get it perfect. 
No, you know, it's, it's perfect. It I was said I liked it. I said I liked it. I liked it too. Oh my gosh, Stephen! <laughs> I'm having a rough one. Well, talk to us about it. What's I did. I broke the rule, and then I felt bad. I told you. Patrick, this is your chance to make things right. I'm trying. You sound like Lor Santeca, Watto. Going once. Going. Oh, this is it? This going is it? twice. Is it happening? You tell me. Well, if it's if it's not moving up from two hundred thirty dollars okay. thirty-two let's, cents. Let's count down from ten. Let's count down from ten. Ten. Nine. nine eight. eight Seven, seven, six, five. five I wish we were counting down in Larry Potter four, books. Four, three, three <laughs> two, <laughs> one. I don't know how that happened. Zero. <laughs> Congratulations to Coil B. Oh boy, Coil B. So just uh, send in your donation and then forward your receipt to. The George Lucas Talk Show at gmail.com and remind me that it's for this. So, can we update with the final total now? Once that money comes in, I will do now, it. Now, Steven. Yeah. I feel bad because Blogtoven put up a hell of a fight. Yeah. Yeah. Would you be willing to, uh, for $5, send Blogtoven a post it note that says, <laughs> You didn't get the magnifying glass? <laughs> Yeah, I'll do it. Only me. if Blogtoven is willing to pay five dollars for that note. You have to pay five dollars. You have to pay. I sincerely Minimum. hope that they know. Minimum. I've got a pen. I'm ready to write. It's a good bumper. That's a good bumper. It's a good I bump. really like how it captures. Blogtoven has emotion. accepted the offer. Blogtoven has accepted the offer. And what right. am I ready again? Um, you, you did not get the magnifying glass. Dear, should I do dear Bl blog Tobin? Yeah, dear blog Tobin. <laughs> How do you spell blog Tobin? I think it's blog, up to you. Blog. Yep. And then Tobin. Okay, got it. Uh, then put uh, no magnifying glass for you. Mm hmm. <laughs> should he put soup Nazi in parentheses? No. 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 no, no, but but then type out the Seinfeld theme. <laughs> um, uh, type it out. Um, 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 um. I do love how it will just um, sound like you are accusing him of being a vagrant. Um, but, um, but, um, an unintelligent oh vagrant. <laughs> Bum 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 what if the we have a Seinfeld theme song took way too long, too much writing? <laughs> I mean, the, I'll say this, Blogtoven, you know who it's from. Mm -hmm. It couldn't yeah, be, so from, it could be for anyone else. It's for charity, though. Sold. That's all Blogtoven saying. says sold. sold. So you got that second one that'll make it clear. So in the second, and you one, might as well, you might as well fill up that second one. <laughs> I'll fill up that second one. Um, you know what it? I should write? I should write love Stephen Charleston at the bottom first. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Make sure there's room. That's so smart, Stephen. Love, Stephen. He's so clever, Charleston. <laughs> he figured and out. And then the rest is up for up for grabs. Oh, yeah. It's so small. It's so small. I wanted to make sure there's tons of room. Ooh, yeah, like for all this like stuff. Uh, just write. Oops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but really big. Sorry. Do it big. I wrote it. I wrote it too. <laughs> Is that okay? I yeah. mean, it looks really good, yeah. Okay. I'll throw that in there then. I'll just need that address with the other one. Mm -hmm. Steven? Mm -hmm. You gotta send it to me. Steven? You don't have to do it, do this in a big way. And you don't have to do this at all. But just, it'd be nice if you threw in a little smooch on it. Mm. Doesn't have to be a passionate one. Yeah, it's mm. perfect. That's that was cute. the perfect level of decorum for, for what I think that is. 
It's just good luck. All set. I think it's good luck for both of you. I'm just going to put this on a, I'm going to stick it to a, po a postcard and send it. Oh, can I say something, Stephen? I think 2021 is your year. Yes. Oh, I hope so. I've never felt more confident of anything <laughs> in my life. I think this mm -hmm. is the year. I know this is starting off a little rough with you having to sell all of your possessions. Yeah, but the stuff. more I, the more I feel unencumbered, the more it feels like a necessary reset. Uh, you know. Yeah. Sure. It's, it's a it's cleansing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Patrick, what's our total now? I'm waiting for these last couple of bids to come in, and then I will be. I'll give you an update. I mean, up. let's start doing the math. I know you can confirm uh, it. I'm let's have the total. Let's have I'm the with total. Patrick. It's not you real, so it's real. I'll say no. this. I'll say this. You don't have to announce it, but have the total ready. Have the math added up, and you don't have to announce it until it comes in. But I won't know what the total is. Wow. But you knew what the bids were. We knew what the bids were. Okay, it, I'm still waiting on blog. Do you think the bids? Do you think the the bids that finalize in the auction? How often does the money that that comes in not match those final bids? I don't know. Wow, that's the wrong answer. <laughs> I think that was a little. That was a real Richard. Larry Harry tune out right there. You just checked yeah. out there, bub. Yeah, I heard him. I heard him. It just didn't necessarily make sense. I think that made perfect sense. What are you talking about? I think that was a little Larry Harry tune out. Hypothetically, <laughs> classic LHTO. Hypothetically, if Blogtoven's ten dollars clears, yeah, Blogtoven was about to pay upwards of two hundred dollars for, for a soiled magnifying glass. You don't think you don't think he's gonna, his ten dollars is going to clear? Eight eight four seven one five. <laughs> Trust oh my me, God! I, of course, we are up to eighty-eight. Jesus, Patrick, what have you done to us? <laughs> what have you done again? <laughs> you gotta get, guys. We we cannot end this on a hate number. We gotta get it up to eighty-nine hundred. It's on the block. Oh no! No! It's on the block. Oh, no. <laughs> I I Rich has had this thing. No. Shut! Hey, listen. This is your Grogu. This is a. This is for charity. It's on the block. Look how long. Look at this is frayed. That's how long. Stephen, is this real? This is real. Hundred okay, percent. We are at a hundred dollars already. Oh my it's god! On it's the block. Twenty. This is this is the season. Hundred and forty. Right here. Hundred and forty. I see. Hundred and forty-one. Hundred and fifty-two. Oh, I'm a real mind guy. It's fake. Don't put that one up. Yeah. Yeah. One fifty-five. Oh my gosh, Stephen! Right this too. Right now, just so you know, just so you know, for the, not, I'm going to spoil the end of the season, second season of the Mandalorian right now. Man, but I literally I'm, don't want to hear this. I no, can't. No. Okay, <laughs> hold on. No, I won't really spoil it. I'll do a safe yeah. spoiler. But right now, for those of you who've seen it, the bitters <laughs> are the thing that's happening right before the thing yeah. that happens. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes. Two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred. Also, Stephen, Jesus Christ! I hope I'm on, you, I'm, I'm on episode four. Of okay, season two. Okay. A new hope? Oh. Steven, uh, is Rich caught up? No. <laughs> we're watching it together? We're, we're watching it at the same time, but not, never together. Never oh. together. Okay, well, you both need to pick it up. You're gonna we're, get we're getting there. Is his, your... his son. Okay. Good, good, his good. His son is, good. is uh, showing it to him, and then I watch him right after. Okay. Okay. His son. His son. His, his son. son. His son. Two hundred dollars, two cents. Two cents. Now, Stephen, will you sign this for them? I'll do whatever they want me to do. Well, no, well, that's not fair. No, I won't. No, no strength. You, you I will. No I will sign no it. Strength. I will no. sign it if they want me to. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, no yeah, strength. that's a good point, Wado. Hold on. Oh, there you go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice house. <laughs> Wait, there I... it is. There's the here. Wait, let me see if the hey, did you? This is a guy. Did um, <clears throat> did you guys get the did you get Michael Gladys on this show? No, he was. He was uh he couldn't do tonight, but uh I think he'll probably come on another one. He uh, said. I was gonna put a picture of him, but it's too it's too big. I like the fact that 
I'm red enough that that <laughs> the red. <laughs> I wonder if I can if I can laugh uh, hard enough that it will make more of my face appear on this. Let's side. try. Let's try. <laughs> George, sing the lyrics to "I Got No Strength." <laughs> <laughs> it's fully just your hair that's not here anymore. I know, I know, yeah. Especially that beard. That beard is so much hair. The beard is so much hair. The beard is so much hair. Grogu Seinfeld. I just want to be clear that this is going for just about the same as the magnifying glass. Is that right? Uh huh. Where, have we have we slowed down? Where are we at? What's We're at two hundred dollars and two cents. I mean, we got to. I think put the clock on this, right? Hey, you're the king of the clock, not me. I'm the king of the clock. <laughs> yeah, clock. you're the king of the clock. King of the clock. King of the king of the clock. How are we, What do you What do you want it to be, Water? I think it is one minute. Okay, so 125? 210. See, they just needed a clock to be reminded. <clears throat> exactly. It's it's one minute from the last bid. So we're at 12430. Is is if we haven't gone past 210, it's over at 12530. Yeah. Boom, 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 Patrick, take the bricks off of uh, of Baby Yoda. This is a, a, a this is a ten bar. seconds left. Ten seconds left until the auction closes. Two ten is the high bid. Five, four, three, three two, two, one. One. Gavel, 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 gavel. gavel. There you go. I'm going to need three addresses now. You're going to need three addresses. You're going to need three addresses now. Stephen, I know that you you won't be sending off your, your Grogu until tomorrow mm -hmm. at the earliest, but it would be nice to end the show with you saying goodbye. And just take a moment. Let's make you even full, full screen with us watching you. Just take a moment, the same way that Watto, when he said goodbye to his uh, Watto Cheeto. We get your little moment first. That's all right. It'll be on YouTube in a few days. You got a good imagination. You can probably play out in your head how it went. Hey. Oh. Um. I just want to say I appreciate the times that you were there when I was. Hey, yo, yo. Stay with me here. I just want to let you know that I appreciate all the times that you were there when I needed you the most. But now you're going to go to a new home at, um, at, uh, who's, who won? I don't remember. Tovalove or something. Tovalove. Tovalove. It was Tovalove. probably Tovalove. Tovalove's house. And they're going to take good care of you. Nova Pal. Nova, Pal. Nova, Pal. Nova Pal's house. And they, or, or apartment or whatever. Maybe they're staying with a friend like us. And they'll take care of you. And you'll comfort them. The same way you comforted me. Shake, shake on it. So that's it. No, don't feel bad. It's good. He's a piece of shit. He wants to come to your house. And may the force be with you. Always.